<laughs> you sure speak good for a guy who spends most of his life in a video arcade. Thank you from Austin, Texas with America's hottest new game show from 40 years ago. It's Retro Pals with Danny and Alex. <laughs> Hello, Alex. Hello, Danny. I am ready to star in the arcade in Starcade. Yeah, me too. Wait, what? <laughs> it makes sense. Don't worry about it. Don't think about it. Don't think. Okay, I'm not going to think. I'm just going to feel. Feel. I mean, yeah, that's how, that's how you play arcade games, right? You can't play <laughs> by thinking. You just got to feel it out. There's like a whole musical about it by the Who. Yeah, know? exactly. Oh my God, you're right. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's changed my perspective on everything. Oh, man. Well, sucks I have to do a show now. Hi, yeah, everybody. Sorry. It's Retro Pals. We're doing one of our little mix-up shows where instead of just playing a whole bunch of games in a row, we're going to watch some classic TV and then maybe try to compete ourselves with the scores that the players got on classic shows. What do you think of that? I think that I don't want to have to prove that I'm worse than... A seven-year-old from 19, from like, when well, is this show, 1981, before we, I was born? We are about to get our asses kicked by a whole bunch of seven-year-olds. Uh, oh, my God. Hello, I'm Danny. This is Alex. Hi. And we're here to show you just how much worse we are at uh, video games than kids were literally 40 years ago. The kids you're going to see competing today are all like in their 40s and 50s. They've all competed in the uh, national video gaming circuit. And they're here to really put us in our place, show yeah. us just how much better gamers were back in the day. And we're going to watch some old TV, too. So I like that. Yeah, yeah, me too. Alex, I like the part where I watch TV. I don't like the part where I get owned by children. Yeah, that part is uh, coming in. It's it's coming in hot and fast. I barely managed to uh, construct a way to make that work, and it may just collapse during the show. In which case, we'll just abandon it and never mention it again. That's <laughs> how it usually works here on Retro Pals. But hi, everybody. Hi. Hope you're ready to watch some stream. That's all I got. <laughs> all right. Well, I gotta thank some folks real quick. <laughs> That's when you thank some folks. Thank you, Sailor Soapbox. Twenty month reset. Let's get the pun out of the way. Yeah. Sometimes unexpected things happen during heavily betted sports events that require quick adjustments. They call this a bookie's hustle. Boo! Whoa! Terrible. Cookies bustle I love pun. It. Thank you so much. I'll Sailor accept Soapbox. it. I'll accept. It. I'll accept any cookies bustle uh, joke. Thank you, cryptic. Crypt Kid 87 for the four month resub. Love you, Puzzle. Thank you. Yeah, thank Love you for you the too. four months. Thank you, Scratching Way 43 month resub. Fire Rock. Fire Rock. <laughs> I agree. Thank you. Thank you, Aria of Sasha, for the 38 month resub. Fire. Fire Psycho Pals. Yeah, we were playing the uh, Psycho Soldier theme song during the pre show, getting everyone fired up. It sounds like it worked. Thank you, Chubo, for the 28-month resub. You either ran out of good guys or ran out of bad guys. Yeah, we were listening to the... Uh... I saw that episode. Yeah. I don't remember which one that was, but yeah, that stood out as a classic quote to me. <laughs> good you, stuff. Thank you, Shaxpert, with a whole 80 months. 80-month resub, V-I-C-T-O-R-Y. Holy shit. That is one of the first, if not the first, 80 months of yeah, uh, Retro yeah. Pals. Thank oh, you. my God. More like geriatric pals. <laughs> Thank you, Vigor Waster, for the 58-month resub. Appreciate that. Thank you for the 58. And thank you, Ultra Pancake, 14-month resub, and I'm gawing at you, too. <laughs> Everybody's gone. Thank you, Sepasai, for the 50 bits. Thank you, Celtabe, for the 50 bits. Are you better at classic arcade games than fifth grader? No. Uh, no. No. Thank you both for your 50 bits. And last but not least, thank you, St. Asper Teams, for the 100 bits. These bits are brought to you by the Sizes Sensor Chess. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it's true. Man, I want one of those. Well, thank you all for the bits and thank the you, subs. All aboard the hype train, toot toot. Toot toot. They're giving away classic emotes now, like uh, Bongo Cat from that one Christmas uh, thing that they discontinued. Wait, really? So if you get on the hype train now, you may have a chance of getting some classic emotes that are realistic. Oh, listed. sick. Okay. Not like I'm promoting such a thing. You can do I'm, what you I'm want. I'm donating no money. And the hype train's over. Too late, everybody. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so... As usual, we took this week's theme to our patrons. Mm -hmm. We said we want to watch some classic um, competition-oriented video game TV shows. One from across the pond and one from right here in the good old USA. This is how that turned out. 
Some people wanted to see Games Master. I wanted to see Games Master. I wanted to see one of the episodes where, like, it was the season promoting McDonald's and the M and Games Master turned into the McDonald's M, and they all gamed aboard the McDonald's gaming blimp. What? But, but that'll have to wait for another time. We'll probably pair that up against Nightmare or something in a future poll, so stay you tuned for that. can't say McDonald's gaming blimp. Well, Starcade has a chance of e being even better, believe it or not. No. There's a lot to talk about here. This is a show that ran for about 200 episodes from 1982 to 1984. The initial run had a first host who they kicked to the curb very quickly when it turned out he didn't give a shit about video games and was just kind of bad. Mm -hmm. We're going to watch a collection of episodes tonight and maybe even participate in some of the challenges that the kids participated in some 40 years ago. So let's see how this goes. Thank you, Moore, for the 100 bits. <laughs> I have all the bongo I need. Those are good bongos. Thank you. I love that bongo. Okay, so... Danny is live. Danny's Alex is live. live. I am live. Rolo, you're live, just okay. in case. Just in case the show shows something untoward. In case, like, the host is just like, and now, folks! And then... Hardcore you know. nudity! <laughs> hey, it could happen. It was the 80s. We're gonna start off with what this I This is a Videodrome! I consider this to be a fairly standard episode of Starcade. These episodes are going to get uh, more unhinged as the, the show goes on. But I figure we start with a pretty uh, normal one, just to get you an idea for the, the whole show format and everything. This is episode 44, featuring the uh, second host, the one who everyone likes. Strap in, let's witness some Starcade. Uh, hang on, I keep all my Starcades right here. Yeah, Danny has a Starcade pack. Did you hear that? Mm-hmm. Okay. Starcade. Right here. Bam. Let's Beautiful. watch it. Hey, October, the this disco is goes forever, Starcade, bitch. Thank you. TV's first video arcade <laughs> Love that disco. Show. Thank you. Starring your favorite video game. Let me know if and this needs adjusting the volume. Introduced to the public for the first time anywhere. Can you hear this? Mm, I can hear it. Here's your host for Starcade. What the fuck is Yamato? What are these games? They got Amidar. What is Yamato? This is Amidar movement. What's Graplop? Graplop? That kid was playing Graplop. These kids are all playing fake games. I see Congo Bongo. That's real. That's a real game. And Bagman. That's unfortunately a real game. What's wrong with Bagman? Well, maybe you'll get a chance to find out. I hope not. Okay, got a nice audience here. That's nice to see. Hello to you at home. Nice we change from the shitty audiences we That's usually have. Meet him right now. Your name is Martin Cole. Martin, Why are they making that adult college. compete with that child? I'm a senior at Sarah High School. This After is the standard for the show. They didn't Stanford show University any uh, difference between age did groups. Did you come back from Europe or something? Yeah, I, mm. I was uh, in Europe for three weeks. What was your Kids competed country? with high schoolers and adults. Germany. Okay, well, welcome to the this show. Kid went to freaking Europe. Is? Travis Nichols. Travis, how you doing? Good. Good. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm Travis Nichols from UC. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 10 years old, and I like to play uh, football. It's a little quiet. Baseball, you may want to turn up a little like bit. Okay. Okay, good. And what's your name? Travis Nichols. Okay, Travis. Oh, come on. Don't give <laughs> that kid you know, shit. He's, he's nervous. Up based on their ability in playing today's games. And one I'm of Travis Nichols. Have a I hope it's spelled like the, uh, the currency. Arcade game today. It is Pingo. Should have called him Travis Quarters. All righty. You guys shake hands. Let's go play Starcade. And while they get ready, Kevin will tell us the five games we'll be dealing with today. Kev? Tax scan? Tax scan. Okay. Good guys, bad guys, bugs, gorillas, and gutter balls. We've got it all today on Starcade. First, it's Tax Scan, a squadron of spaceships on a valiant mission. Next is Pro Bowling, a roll down the alley. Middle today is Millipede, and the bugs are back. Then it's Wild Western. Good guys and bad guys in a train chase. Donkey Kong. You guys Mario know in pursuit to save Donkey his Kong. Lady. Jeff? Okay, Kevin, thanks a lot. Those are today's five games. Martin and Travis, both of you had a chance to play them before today's show. One of them, as you probably know, is a mystery game. You pick it in the first three games, and you win a prize automatically. And we like our home audience to know what the mystery game is, so Kevin will whisper that to them. Today's mystery game is Tax Scan. Ooh, don't tell anybody. Okay, they're all set, and if you're all set, <laughs> I'll ask you a question. You ready? All right, hands on buzzers. First one to buzz in gets to answer the question, answer correctly, and you'll pick our first game today. In pole position, the sign, prepare to qualify, is pulled across the screen by what? A, an a airplane, B, a Martin. B, a blimp. B, a blimp. Right you are. How did you? 
Damn, he's, he oh, buzzed in the second. Did you get the answers? Is this so, like Martin, you get to pick a 50s our first quiz game. show scandal? Yeah. Which one would you like to play? I think I'll take uh, pro bowling. Pro bowling. That's pro an interesting bowling. game. I don't think we've played it yet here on Starcade. So we'll ask Kevin to tell us about pro the bowling. The fix is in. We've moved a bowling alley right in here for this game. It's pro bowling, and you're in control of the ball, checking the tracking screen to see where the ball is going, then maneuvering the ball by sending Ever play it this straight one? down no, the alley. No, have you? I have not. It to one Who side did or this? The other. Watch the timing meter Who's on the side. Who's responsible for this? It fluctuates Who did this? up and down all the time, and if you throw when it's high, your throw will you won't be stronger, get in trouble if you and made there's this. more <laughs> likelihood of success. So, Mark, get on think your of you, bowling shirt and get ready to Oh, does he have the little Bob Barker microphone? We uh, yeah. were happy. Yeah, he does. Look at Kevin that. Kevin is one of the few people Skinny here who got three strikes in a row. Unfortunately, he was playing baseball at the time. <laughs> Fred okay, Flintstone Kevin. is unlockable. Now, yes. uh, you picked pro bowling. Why? <laughs> well, I thought it would uh, start the game out with a low-scoring game. Uh huh. And save the high-scoring games till later. Huh? Yeah. All right. Let me give you a little bit of advice about this, That's and you might want to listen to uh, Travis. <laughs> Bizarre. Uh, if you move your joystick left and right, you move your bowler left and right. Move your joystick uh. up and down. You curve the uh, line of the ball, right or left. And watch your speed meter. It's on the far left side of the screen. When it's where you want it, you press bowl, okay? Okay. All right, here we go. Press bowl. Press bowl. You have 50 seconds. Get ready. Get set. Oh, Data play. East. Okay. Oh, let's go. I'm all for this game, then. Okay. He's going to bowl straight. See if you can pick those up. Speed this game makes noises. Good. It's a loud boy. Didn't even pick up the spare. Oh, yes, you got oh a strike. strike. 20 seconds. Set those pins up. Yeah, this doesn't look too bad. Yeah, the pin go. physics look okay. See, this looks kind of good. And the zoom in? That's, that that's nice. I like the way the pins fly. Uh, 10 seconds to pick up some points here. I don't like that sound. <laughs> I wish in real game the pins were flying. I can actually not like that at all. Looks like you're gonna sit with 470 there. Yeah, it's not quite enough time. I question the wisdom points. of making okay, that a timed competition. You, yeah. Come on, Why not make it based on frames? He did pretty good. 470 points. Got himself a strike along the way. How are you at pro bowling? I'm not very good. <laughs> well, you remember what I told him. I'm uh, Travis Nichols. On the left is a speed meter. When it's up to the top, <laughs> the ball will go faster. You press your I ball button Travis at that Nichols. time. Joystick left to the right moves the ball left to right, up and down. It will curve the ball. And you'll see the line, it'll make it curve. So you might want to use that. Okay? Okay? Yeah. Okay, okay. Here we go. Get ready? <laughs> Badgering this seconds. poor nerd. This Get poor child. I know, ball. right? <laughs> it's hard to talk to people, damn it. <laughs> Much less on national TV. Okay, you know this kid grew up and programmed some of the finest PHP imaginable. Yeah, he programmed a game called okay, Fuck Mark Richards. <laughs> That's it. Oh, left one. Too bad. That's okay. That's the same same score as the, the other guy got. Yeah, I, I want frame. Travis to win, honestly. I'm rooting for Travis. I want him to beat the system. Maybe you can pick those two up. 20 seconds. I think they should be time for the competition. Good shot. You need a strike here. Just throw in the balls. Yeah, yeah just throw as many balls as possible. Yeah, go, 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 go. Like go down every single lane. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be awesome. Speed run strats. Or like I kicked out of the bowling alley speed run. <laughs> Not enough time. Okay, you sit with 300. Come over here there, Travis. 300 is what you need. Maybe you should have hit the curve a little bit. Well... That's Stop the way it! it goes. We'll be right back Travis, you're fine! You the next game here on Starcade. That kind of really Travis. sucked. I would have done better. Almost. See, Travis is already like... What color is the player's race car in the game pole position? Alex, do you know this? Blue? Okay, let's see. I was just gonna say... Everybody oh, guess. Oh, it's red. red. <laughs> I was gonna say, I like that Travis is already dressed like the program. I respect it. Today's imagine grand prize winning your own Pango is machine. Video arcade game, Pango. Okay, but could you imagine actually winning that and trying to take that home and your parents being like, fast <laughs> uh, We'll take the cash prize, please. Pango, the Penguins World like, no. is an interesting place to be. Pango, arcade furnished game. by Sega Electronics. And now back to Starcade with Jeff Edwards. Okay, Kevin, thank you. Both Martin and Travis are going to have a chance at old Pango here. Let's check the score and see where we are after one game. Martin, you have 470 points. <sighs> and Travis, you have... 
300 Travis, points. Travis, I believe oh, very, you, very kid. Close. I believe very, you can very do close. it. He did start with a low, low scoring round, game. Total mm -hmm. point scored on both game, and that will determine kind of a pointless game to play, the really. Game boards. If you guys are ready, I have another question for you. Maybe Martin Hands was just buzzers. playing mind games. You all set, Travis? Okay, here we go. I don't trust In Martin. In Crystal Castles, what's the name of the player? A honey bear. Bentley. Yes, Martin. Bentley bear. Bentley bear. Martin. Yeah, you sure know. How many people knew that in 1982? I, I feel Once bad again, to be like, I think Martin's a serial killer, but. <laughs> Come on. Okay, I know. This time, uh, let's try Wild Western. Wild Western. Okay, oh, let's go. I know. Wild uh, game, and we'll ask our Indian giver about that. Or, excuse me? Dude, come on! It's the good guy against the bad guys in a race with the train carrying it's the It's the good loot. guys versus the bad the guys. Guy, of course. It's your job to protect uh, this show the does train. not reflect now current the battle, uh, morals and... Uh, yeah, we need the Looney Tunes warning. Yeah, it was a different Wild time. Western. Okay, Kevin, thank you. Well, you pick Wild Western, and I usually give hints about games, but I'm so bad at this one. Are, are you pretty good at it? Well... I'm probably as good as you are on it. I'm not quite that good. <laughs> well, anybody's as good as I am on it. Don't let the bandits get on the train. If they do, you put, get the sheriff on the train. If you get to the water tower, press your button and the sheriff will lie down. And uh, other than that, all I can say is good luck. Make okay, the sheriff thanks. lie down. Okay, here we go, Martin. You have 50 seconds. Get ready. Get set. Play. All right, Alex, pay attention to us. Okay. Because this is going to be your first challenge. No, it's game. not. Yes, no. it is. This is a twin the stick game. Uh, the left stick controls your rider. The right stick controls your, uh, the direction of your fire. Okay. The right stick is mapped to square, triangle, circle, and X. And shoot is R1. Okay. That... I'm just going to give you a little bit to internalize that and you're to watch the pros play. That's a blombi horse, you're right. It's a blombi horse. It's pretty much Wild West Robotron, yeah, except you don't automatically fire it. Risky place to be, but you get a lot of points. Oh, look out! They got you. Have a couple more sheriffs left. Ten uh, seconds. This, this guy's gonna be We got two more sheriffs left. He's getting killed instantly, though. Look at that! Oh, nice. Looks like they got all your sheriffs. You only get three of them, but you got 400. 400 points. Okay, Martin. Congratulations. You head on back. Come on, Travis. Absolutely brutal. All right, Travis. Now he picked Wild Western. Uh, he's picked uh, both games so far. How do you feel about Wild Western? Um, I'm probably as good as you, too. I'm <laughs> <laughs> it's all of us not too good on this game. Well, they got 400 points. There's a chance for you to some score some points Expect here. We wish you good luck. Okay, here table. we go. Love Travis, you Travis. You ready? Good kid. Get set. Play. Game recognized game. Mm -hmm. Here's the train. It. Here's the bandits. Here comes the sheriff. Here comes the sheriff. Got one. Good for you. Both players heading to the opposite side of the tracks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. risky move. You're great. Plenty of time. You got to the bonus stage. Well, we'll wait for all of this to happen. That's all right. You'll be back on there in a second. He missed his shot. You got a bonus Sucks, point. That's fine. That's so good. Here you go. Coming back. Travis. Well, Travis, it turns out you're pretty good at it. You got bonus points. You have 1,500, and that's great. You head on back. All right, Alex. Ah, it's time for the Alex challenge. Oh, Alex Lord. has agreed to take some of the challenges that a lot of these kids are facing today here on Starcade. So why don't we start with a good old Wild Western. Thank you, I asked for the 25 bits. Play Taito games. Well, luckily for you, I am. It's happening. It's All happening right. right now. Live on TV. Wait, who's that? It's your crowd of adoring fans, Alex. What? I don't want a crowd of adoring. Okay. I guess I have a crowd of adoring fans. Okay. Uh, All right, Alex, coin up if you would. You have 50 seconds to score uh, either 400 or 1500. Bad news. Yeah. Uh, coin isn't working on this. There we go. There we go. All right. Three, two, one, go. 
Okay. Keep in mind, you aim your gun with the uh, the buttons, or you can just fire like that. Hey, you mm -hmm. hit one guy. There's no way I'm beating Travis. Travis got my ass. Go, Alex, go. Okay, okay. We're all rooting for you. I got hey, banned. It's fine. No, no bonking the competitor mid-competition. <laughs> That's unfair. Risky move. Risky move. Can he do it? Can he do it? Uh, oh, it looks like uh, it looks like your horse just ran off on his own, and he's just he's taken off. The horse took on a mind of its own, and uh, um, is refusing to participate in the competition. And with that, Alex <laughs> scores a massive 100 points in Wild Western. I was hoping you would beat at least the <laughs> at least the high schooler, but um, no. No. That was hard. It was hard. It was hard. It's it's hard getting out there and performing on a stage in front of everybody. It's it's got to be said. It must be said. <laughs> More challenges in the future. Let's get back to the show. I think the lead has changed hands. Both of you, of course, had a chance to play pro bowling and wild western, and now one of you is going to play for a special prize, and that's the name of the game. Board. Don't so ban me. Don't echo me. Martin, you have. I had I set up an unconventional control scheme for that. I'm partially to blame. That's okay. The important part is our boy Travis is taking the lead. <laughs> oh, you may want to stop the clock for now. It's time to play the name the game board. Behind you, we have four video screens. We're going to show you four video games. If you name the games correctly, you're going to win a nice prize. How are you at the video games? I'm pretty good. Okay. okay. We'll find out. Turn around. In the upper left hand. I bet he knows corner. his games. Is that fantasy or pioneer? Fantasy. Blue? Fantasy. Fantasy is right. Number two, pole position or turbo? Turbo. Turbo is yep. right. Good for you. Number three, Super Pac Man or Pac Man Plus? Super, Super Pac Man. Pac -Man. Yes. Mm -hmm, Number mm -hmm. four, is this spirals or kicks? Kicks. kicks. You're right. Good for you. Wow, non porn kicks. <laughs> Kids hang out in a lot of arcades. That's four out of five. Because the fifth one is how do you spell the name of the person who's going to give you the prize? Jim? Right. Jim, what's the prize? Uh, thanks, uh, Steve. Uh, <laughs> it's ColecoVision. How do you spell it? Home video Jim. Arcade system with effects just like in the arcade. Your vision is our vision. You expect this kid to bounce off Coleco. you? He's nervous as fuck. Okay, Come good. on. Thanks a lot. You hang on right here. Travis, in a minute, we'll be back to play the final round of Star Arcade and see who has a chance to win their own video <laughs> arcade game. Travis kicks ass. I, this kid's great. I wouldn't have done any better than Travis. Oh, no. I would have absolutely failed if I was in Travis's position. Here's the latest news from the Starcade Hotline. Oh, shit, news. Some of the Starcade There's your arcade posture. You gotta have some big points on video arcade games. If you're seven feet Between tall. Tapings, of course. Here's a few of our high scores. He's playing Wacko. Cameraman Charlie. Oh, of course. Game Wrangler Don. Contestant Game Wrangler Don? Three, Game Medic Jim. Game Medic? Director Phil. Maintenance Gordon. Maintenance Gordon. Lighting Director Phil. Technical Director Steve. Host Jeff Edwards, and Whoa. of course mine. That's and, a good uh, fucking Sinistar Jeff, score, top, dude. Top score <laughs> for the host. Sinistar. I've been been much too busy with more important things, Kevin. Okay, guys, this is it. One game left to play. I gotta see if I can beat that. I know he's pretty good. Sinistar's scores, hard. And the top score on all games is going to get a chance to win Pingo. So if you're ready, I have Travis the last wants that Pingo for you. Martin and Travis, hands on buzzers. Here we go. In Guzzler. How many <laughs> fireballs must be extinguished on the f four? Martin. Four is right. You See what I mean about Martin? I don't know. Martin has like Holy psychic Michael, powers. You sure know your games now. There's three games left up there, uh, Martin. One of them is the mystery game that hasn't been Martin picked don't yet. Don't know shit about so Guzzler. You can't Kong, fool me. Millipede and Tax Scan. What's it going to be? Oh, well, let's go for the middle one, Millipede. Millipede. Okay, that was not the mystery millipede game. The, the mystery game was Tax Scan, but Millipede Just, is an interesting there game. There is a. And Kevin will tell us how to play. This dude is too beige. Yes! <laughs> Everyone Thank was very beige. Is. Everyone was quite beige in the 80s. Yeah, early 80s. Everybody associates the 80s with neon and shit, but it was a pretty beige era for yeah, a lot of Yeah, this is this is what it really looked like. Mushroom forest. Score points with direct hits to the millipede. I hear this is a good game. Or any of his insect buddies, or take out a group at a time with You've DDT millipede. bombs. Truth yeah. and goodness are on your side, and you will be victorious. Truth and goodness are on your side. It's okay, a millipede. Uh, what truth uh, and Kevin? goodness do oh, I have? Like the early bird got him. Well, all right. 
Millipede it is. Why'd you pick Millipede? They say this guy's the good host. <laughs> that you're offering here today, so I picked this one. Okay. Maybe he's having an off day. He's behind. better than the other one. Points to get back in the lead if you can. Only advice I can give you is go for the DDT bomb if you can get it. That'll give go you for the DDT. Points, a little bit go of an advantage, it. okay? okay. DDT. Right, you have 40 seconds DDT. for this game, Martin. You ready? Yeah. Get set. Go. There you go. That was 600 points. Oh, you track ball control game. Good at good track balls. Stand a chance of being really good at this. He took out a huge yeah, chunk of that right. just now. I think this guy played millipede before. I think he's a millipede. I think he was just sandbagging. Like, oh, give me the game with the lowest right, scoring right, possibilities. Right, Poor Travis Nichols. He knew it stand a chance time. against this this this, this centipede One millipede point. wizard. Maybe he's a millipede. <laughs> Those insect people that infiltrated us during the 80s. You don't hear about that. Much 13,247. Cartman, thank you for the 100 really bits. That game. Congratulations <laughs> to you. That's what I was referring You're to. Welcome. Thank you. Play 21. I play 22. D -D I think old Martin uh, put the pressure on you there. Yeah. Now he picked. He's picked each game so far. This time he picked Millipede. Uh, how do you feel about Millipede? All right, I'm pretty good too. All right, well, I think Ooh. you're going to have to be to hold your lead. Let's Ooh. see how well you do. You have 40 seconds. Thank you, Seraphis Get ready. It's advice applicable Get set. to both Millipede and WWF wrestling. That's go for the BB2. That's true. All right, Travis. Oh, Travis. Oh, good shoot. Okay, Travis. Got it. Got a DDT bomb. Good for you. Look out. Good. All right. 20 seconds to go. Travis methodically taking out the entire Millipede. Mm -hmm. Doing pretty good. Maybe he got like 10,000, I think. Yeah, I don't know how that oh, kid did. Shot. That kid was like cheating. He used the DDT. Wow. Well, on the other hand, Travis hasn't died yet. So he has a chance. Ooh. 20. Okay, head on back, Travis. Kill him. <laughs> Martin wow. beat Travis at Millipede, but whether it was got a hot crowd the entire game, I don't know, but we will find out. Both of you are very good players, and the lead's going back and forth, and now it's the final score, and we'll find out who's going to have a shot at their very own Pango game. So if you guys are set, we'll tell you. look at scores. Martin. You ready? There's okay. a sadness Martin, in you him. have a total of 14,117. Right. Travis, Claw. you have... 11,820. Right. Martin, you did it. Sorry, Travis. Fail, fail show. Travis, you're a good player. You had See, the if this were a modern you got the name, reality the TV show, they would have scripted it as a Travis one because he's an time? audience fave. Yeah. I'm glad you did. It's nice true. He was playing the long Martin, game. You're our champ mm -hmm. today. Congratulations Martin to you. Martin was just going for the, the quick and easy points. And Kevin has a prize for you for being the number See, one Martin player today. See, Martin doesn't smile. Yeah. Martin just... First, it's Connick. Well, he's nervous, too. The world's first autofocus disc camera. Get sharp pictures. We joke, but he's probably not an insect person. No, he's a human. This is a good show. Auto -focus, disc 15 by awesome. Konica, and Spectra no, Video SV318, the personal computer you grow into and not out of, featuring built-in CPM compatibility. The Spectra Video. What the hell is this? Look at that joystick. Functions and a built-in joystick from Spectra Video. Okay. How do you feel about those prizes? Great. I, I really wanted a computer. Great, Martin. Anything else you want? <laughs> well, I'm going to try and get the Pingo game. Okay, we'll see if you can do it right after this. Oh. They put a lot on the contestants, making them extemporize and come up with answers on the spot. Oh, that was like the US Some of our contestants of and some members okay, of the studio cool. audience that's what will that receive. Was. Dude, that's trigger a hell of a command, prize. The joystick making America trigger happy. Comfort, <laughs> digital grip, and trigger action. The thumb I don't even know what to say to that. We're going to need a better slogan, guys. Concepts. And from UMI, Word Feud, the competitive word search game that involves the whole family. It's irresistible fun for everyone. UMI software for family home entertainment. Word Feud that. from UMI. Yep, you gotta Welcome beat the back. final challenge to get the Pingo okay, cabinet. You have a shot at your own video arcade game, Martin. During the commercial break, we informed you that if you picked Donkey Kong, you'd have to score at least 1,125 points. If you picked Tax Scan, you'd have to score at least 11,670 points. Those are the average scores of more than 20 other players that played these same games. I understand you reached your decision and you picked... Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong. Okay, okay Donkey, Donkey Kong. Kong it is. That means if you score 1,125 points or more in 30 seconds, Ended you're going to win a Donkey Kong Ryan showdown. Okay. So while Kevin tells us about Donkey Kong, we'll get ready to go over Tell us play. about Donkey Kong. 
your jump man, and your goal is to rescue <laughs> the lady from Donkey Kong. The Reach the top and score points jump by man jumping and over the, the barrels hurled down on you by Donkey Kong. Make extra points by jumping up to get the hammer, and then use it to smash the barrels and the oh, fireballs on that level. Oh, Jumpman and the Lady is the name of my Move pretentious on up the retro video jumping game barrels and avoid the fireballs <laughs> to reach the second I thought level. it was your retro game bar. Oh, that's Donkey good, Kong too. grabs the lady and moves up, and you begin again. All right, now, Martin, whether you want to try to get all the way to the top, I don't know. You only have 30 seconds. You need 1,125 points. I can tell you how to do this. It's you a you, Jumpman. Sure. Okay, it's going to cost you. <laughs> you and Pango, I get to play it a lot, okay? Sure. I will come over to your house at night. And, and then take my advice or not take my advice. It's really, in the end, it's up to you. Grab a hammer. First hammer you get to. Hit the fireball, that's 800 points. Hit the next barrel, that's 300 points. And then you just jump over the next barrel and, and you can go home with Pango, okay? Okay. Okay, you good luck go to you. You have 30 Pingo. seconds. All right, taking Pango home with Plus. me. Yeah. <laughs> Advice for a lot of the show is phrasing. Please, guys, think of phrasing. Finally, America's trigger happy. He's got to beat. He's got to beat 1125 points. Okay, Jumpman and the Lady is a good evening for Captain and Tennille cover band. Scarlet oh, Tennille. totally. Actually, does anybody do video game yacht rock? I'm just saying. It's a niche. Gets the hammer on like his third try. Yeah, what was that? That sucked. I don't think I'm particularly good at this, but... I hope, I hope those barrels come down quick. I think he's gonna walk into this just by RNG. Look at that. Alright, you did it! Yes, you did it! <laughs> Alright, you get Pango, kid. I was so nervous about the fireball, I didn't hear you see you make the final score. You take Pango home with you. <laughs> so nervous, so nervous. See you in the next show. Until then, I hope all your troubles get zapped. Bye-bye. I hope all your troubles get zapped. Everybody, that's how Man, I'm gonna. I love that. I want your troubles to get zapped too, sweet. Yeah, you too. Aw, thank you. Everybody in chat, I hope your troubles get zapped. Tailored man. And Tido. United Microwave Industries. This that's who did that game? Speaking. A microwave a company. Jam production. Yeah, sure. 1983. Okay. All right, Alex. No, what? <laughs> Don't just say no to my beautifully constructed stream concept. We're going to play Donkey Kong. Okay. Alex, you have to beat 1,125 points in 30 seconds in Donkey Kong. Okay. Let me bring up the old, uh, no, not that one. How about this one? Not that one. We do this, one. and we bring up that, and we do this, and play the game, if you would. Okay. All right, I will start the timer after the opening cutscene. Oh, I'll do the crowd noise. Woo! Oh, shit, I forgot. It's okay. They decided to leave because they don't like Donkey Kong. Thank you. And go! Alex is playing as Jumpman, the popular hero of the 1980s. Getting the hammer on the first try, unlike that other kid from high school. If you get this, oh my god. Alex's reflexes are out of control. If you can get this third one... 900. Very close. Very close. Oh, no! taking a death. Alex, will you be able to get 225 more points in the next two seconds? Oh my god, no! And... Sorry, Alex. It looks like Pingo's going home with someone else tonight. <laughs> <laughs> it's my Yacht Rock song about losing, <laughs> losing Pingo to another man. <laughs> Ain't that just how it goes? Well, thank you, Alex. You were a good contestant, and you're going home with uh, some computer no one's ever heard of. Okay. But it's an MSX, so maybe can I get Can I get the UMI United Microwave Industries word search game? That sounds bonkers. Yeah, Speaking sure. I'll, I'll search you one up on eBay. That's probably like $2 now. Actually, yeah. Okay, so that was your average episode of Starcade. I'm so glad that this, uh, this crazy scheme that I've got together is somehow working. But let's go back to that first host. I've okay. always been curious about the one host that they replaced after like 20 episodes. In fact, let's go back all the way to episode one. The very first Starcade ever produced. Not the uh, prototype pitch episode featuring Alex Trebek. Uh, we will get turbo banned if we <laughs> stream that, apparently. Okay. So let's, uh, let's play an episode that won't get us turbo banned. Episode one of Starcade. <laughs> 
This is Starcade, TV's first video arcade game Listen show. Song. A game show for okay. today. And here's your host, game show for today. Mark Richards. <laughs> Welcome to Starcade. Our two players have been practicing up for today's like exciting Starcade rounds of competition, dress. and they'll be competing against each other for exciting prizes yeah, by playing the shirt. newest and most exciting video arcade games in the entire world. <laughs> Look at this players, doll. are you about ready? He doesn't even care about me. I'm ready. How about you? I'm ready. All right, let's go play. She's so tiny. Starcade. It's a 30-year-old guy versus a tiny little girl. I wonder who's going to win. Tiny, can she barely? She can, can she even see the arcade screen? Oh, boy, oh, same boy. set. You've been practicing up enough, huh? Already. Let's meet our two players. We have John oh, yeah. Cantu. Hello, John. Hi. How are you? Nice to have you with us, John. And your opponent is Heidi Starfield. Hi, Star Heidi. Hi. How are you? Uh, wait, hold on a second. Let's talk to what John was her name? Star Heidi Starfield. Nice to have you with us, John. And your opponent is Heidi Starfield. Hi, Star Heidi. Heidi Hi. Starfield. <laughs> Okay. Good. Let's talk to John. Born a to be bit, a gamer. He's bigger than you are, John. I hear that you want to be a millionaire within five years. How do you plan to do that? <laughs> uh, well, not by hard work. Uh. I'll tell you that. Uh, uh, basically, writing. I do. Uh, I'm a comedy writer, and uh, oh yeah, you can be a millionaire the, by writing. Uh, best selling. Oh, for writing. sure. That's how I earn my millions. You know who you look like? Remember Jerry Lewis, the Nutty Professor? <laughs> Does he, folks? The Nutty Professor. Yes. <laughs> Not really. That's who you look like. And he you looks look like, a nerd. like him. And Heidi here looks like Annie, don't you? Yes. You've been told that many yes. times, and I understand you're uh, also on call for the Broadway part of Annie. Am I right? Yes, you are. Can you sing that one song everybody knows? Oh, boy. Yes. Just a little bit? Yeah. All right, you're going to audition right now sure. for us, okay? Here we go. Heidi. Okay, can I play games? Yes, and I'll come out tomorrow. Bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow. Good. All right. Well, she got good pitch. Oh, no, she's good. She's good. Yeah. I was say, she's right. Doing it. If she's on top of it, get ready to play Starcade and take your places on the podium. God, if don't do this to Star if Child. If you were a little girl in the 80s and 90s various, who had red curly hair, oh, my God. You were like do. always going to You're always going to be in a. You'll both be playing three of the same game, and the high score gets to play their choice of the fourth or the fifth game for the grand prize, which is your very own video arcade game. And here's Kevin to tell us what it, what it <laughs> he is. He wants Kevin? that. It's Eyes, <laughs> a watchful game of wandering eyes furnished by Rockola. What? You ever wanted your own eyes cabinet? Today on the program. We have two this rounds of creepy competition. Pasta. There'll be two games pasta in round one creepy. and one game in round two. And the Spooky winner of each round of competition like gets this. to play the bonus game for some prizes. So right now, let's find out what the five games are on today's Starcade. Kevin, if you will. Shameless knockoff of Egor by Sanchez. It's an exciting true. flight through time. Game two is Tutankham, a treasure search through dungeons. Game three... Burger time. Good, Help Chef good Pepper one. build a burger. Game four is Blueprint. Mean Fuzzy Wuzzy meets Blueprint. up with JJ, our hero. And game five is Swimmer, swimmer? a wet and wild swim for treasure. Yeah, you know, normal and games. one of those five games has a special like eyes? bonus prize mm -hmm. attached to it. Eyes, very game, normal. That prize is yours. The blueprint. Ready to play? Hands on your buzzer. I have a question I'm going to ask you based on video arcade games. The first one to press, answer correctly, gets to pick the first game. In the game of asteroids, the player controls A, a triangular spaceship, or B, a disc-like saucer. It's triangular. John? A, the first one, the triangular shape. You got it. That's I wasn't what listening it is. the first one. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> is he still like, what? Well, he's still suffering. You get to pick the very Lewis. first game to yeah. play. Which would it be? Well, let's stay in the air. We'll go with Time Pilot. Time Pilot it is. I'd be Come thrown off if someone called me Jerry Lewis. And Kevin, please tell us how to play Time Pilot. If you've ever dreamed of a journey through time, get ready because I you're haven't. about to become the time pilot, racing your sleek jet at mock speed, encountering a century of flying machines from the 1910 biplane to the UFOs of the future. Rescue parachuting pilots for extra points as you race through time. A hundred years will pass I'm before just the say eyes it. of pilot's the time sick. pilot. I like time pilot. John, time pilot time fucking the rules. game you played. We're going to give you 40 seconds on our time clock gym. to get as many points as you possibly can. Don't forget you're playing for the grand He does look a little more like Geraldo than uh, He does, Jerry Lewis. yeah. Ready I'm ready. Good luck to you. In position, please, John. about to dig into Alpha the clock. Ready and begin. <laughs> Let's see if he's going to get a time pilot. That's the question. He's shaking the machine up in it. See? See? Dude, the machine's rocking. Put that shit on a pallet or something. Oh 
my god, it won't stop moving. What the hell? Uh, this is one of the rare time pilot motion cabinets. It's like they say, if the time pilots are rocking, they'll come and rocking. <laughs> Dark Witch Clear beat you to the joke by like a microsecond. <laughs> Forty two hundred. That's old Heidi Starfield. Uh, looks got like for us. you play that game. Heidi many times Starfield yeah, like and she plays happy she's with the a score? runner okay, up for Annie on Broadway, my god. Forty two hundred points. Four thousand two hundred points. Child on imaginable. Your game of, uh, time Go on back I've to never the been more jealous of a child's and life. Let's come on up with Heidi. <laughs> <laughs> Heidi, have you ever played Time Pilot? Couple times. A couple okay, of times. Do you think you can beat forty two hundred points in forty seconds? I have that shirt is well, so way do, too big for her. Well yeah, the we tried to find game, the smallest you know, shirt, and that was all they had. On these games. So if you're all set to go, we're going to turn you around right now and put you into position. Again, we're going to give you 40 seconds Heidi, on the time clock. Heidi. So turn yeah, around, please. Heidi. If you're all set, listen to my cue. Ready? They and dim the lights. Begin. Just to make it more intense. <laughs> oh, she's rocking it, too. Oh, Heidi, it's okay. Yeah, Heidi, show that machine what's business. Get it, Zaz. Oh, Heidi. Heidi, you're gaming like me, girl. <laughs> Not an egg. It, it happens. Yeah, this machine is, like, built for shit. Like, oh, my God. You made it out of style, huh? <laughs> It's one of those arcade one -offs. Oh my <laughs> Well, well, well. Look who just won. Really? Heidi, do you say you've played it before or not? You should be very happy right now because you have 5,000 points, and that means you're ahead of John as we finish our first round of competition on today's Starcade. We're not done with the first round of competition just yet, because Alex is going to play Time Pilot. Oh my god, okay. Alex, you uh -huh. said you like Time Pilot? You played it a couple of times before? Yeah, uh, once. <laughs> Good. Love that confidence. Yes. <laughs> Love it? Yes. All right, Alex. If you would, coin up for me. And once the... Uh, oh, shit. I hit the fucking button. Okay. And three, two, one. Let's go. Okay. Alex, you have 40 seconds to score either 4,200 or 5,000 points. You can either beat the high schooler or you can beat Heidi. I don't know if you're beating Heidi. I'm not beating Heidi. This is a pretty kick-ass game. I like the way the firing works. It's very satisfying. Oh. That's all here for Alex. Heidi was doing really well. I'm, I'm not. Ah. Oh. You still have a chance. You still have a few seconds to go. Let's get some more kills in. Go, 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 Alex, go, 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 Alex, go, 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 go. And you got 4,100 points beating the first guy. Oh, my God. I finally beat a, 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 a Wait, bah! hang on. The other guy actually got 4,200 points. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Alex. I misread my notes. <laughs> So close, so close. He's getting closer, folks. I'm getting bonked left and right here. <laughs> oh. That was super close, though. You almost managed a second place in between, uh, honestly, two masters of gaming from back then. They, they're, they're very good, yeah. All right, back to the show. And we'll be back with more of Heidi and John and, and the Bannies continue. these words. <laughs> Oh, I should have started the timer after the music stopped. You it's might have... okay. Everybody's getting going. Welcome back to Starcade and the second half of the first round of competition. And Heidi, you're ahead by 800 points as we go into our next game. And there are four games remaining, and still one of those four games has the bonus prize to Did it. Did you say so she was behind by 800 Here points? That's question. not true. It's the other way around. How many ghosts in the game Pac-Man? A, are there three ghosts? Or B, are there four ghosts? John, you buzzed first. Four ghosts. You got it. Four ghosts is right. He just said ghosts, and not ghosts. Yeah. Your how many ghosts? How many ghosts? Four remaining games, and maybe the bonus prize could be yours. Which is it? Your uh, your choice. Okay. Uh, 
Twickenham. Chat, how many ghosts? You got it. That's your game. How you come on down to the playing area, ghosts? and here's Kevin to tell us all Four about ghosts. the game. It's Tutankham, and you're traveling through the pyramid searching for the hidden treasure. Fire on the nasties trying to catch you and make points. Nasty. When the nasties, the nasties are in hot pursuit, run through the warp zone and the nasties won't follow. Or use the flash to destroy them all at once. Pick up extra points by finding little treasure along the way to the secret door and the treasure beyond. Yeah, it's John, a British like game. John, we're going to play that game, and this is a very important game because we're going to total game. up the points oh, really? in this round. And between you and Heidi, we're going to see who plays for the bonus round coming up right after this. Ready to play? I'm ready to play. Again, 40 seconds on our time clock. Good luck to you, John. You're going to play the Tutankhamun game. Ready and begin. I'm ready to stomp Annie into the dirt. Poor That's Annie. what he's thinking. Show no mercy. We're going to send Annie back to the orphanage. <laughs> <laughs> Turn this down. All right, this is quite hard. Save this team a great sound of song. I kind of like it though. That seems less wobbly, it's true. Yeah, Here's I was. Really... time pilot's problem. I don't know, it must have been like a mess of problem. Sounds to disassociate too. That's <laughs> <laughs> what I hear every night before I go to sleep. What happened there, John? I just got a little rattled. You got oh. a little zapped, huh? <laughs> I'm going to tell you, you have 620 well, points. And let's uh, bring Heidi back up to the podium there. right now. Come on up here, Heidi. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 620, Heidi, not a great know, this score. This is a very important game, right? Because we're going to total up the points between you and John on the first two games. And whoever has the highest score gets to play the bonus round for some prizes. So are you set to play? Yes. Have you played this before? Yes. All right, okay. well, good luck to you. You're going to play it again, and this time we're going to give you 40 seconds on our clock. So if you're all yes. set to go, yes. let's turn you around and get you into position. Wait for my signal. We're going to play the Tutankham game, and good luck to you. Ready, begin. Interesting dual stick start. You just fire left and right between the second stick. Oh, okay. I guess for the sake of this competition... No, actually, the items you collect later on are worth a lot more points. I was going to say, maybe you just spawn to the enemies, but... You, know, uh, you, you want to actually go through the level and get the things. Is she... What? The, the camera lost track of it. He's like, I don't know. Can we get some people who play video games on this camera work? <laughs> Hanging back seems to work pretty well. Heidi, why don't you take your place over at the podium right now, and we're going to total up the points from the first two games in the first round of competition, and let's see who gets to play our first bonus round. And, John, at the end of the first round of competition, you have 4,820 points, and, Heidi, you have 6,200 points, and you let's win the first go. round of competition. Yeah, Heidi. Heidi's in a good spot to win the whole thing. And Heidi, that means you take a little trip down from the podium. Come on down here with me to the playing area. I bet you she knows you she's going to know every game. She's the bonus know round shit. for some fine prizes. Behind us are four TV screens. We're going to show you four video arcade games one at a time. And if you identify them correctly, we've got some great prizes for you. And here's Kevin to tell you what they are. Kevin? Heidi, for three correct answers, the whole band is right in your hand with the Casio VL Tone. Sick. Five oh, different yeah. instruments, ten yeah, rhythms mini from rock to rumba, and a calculator, too. The and VL a calculator? Tone from Casio, where rumbas. miracles never cease. And for four correct answers, oh, it's ColecoVision, nice. the home video arcade system with effects just like in the arcades. Your vision is our vision. ColecoVision <laughs> from ColecoVision. I've never seen that would like to win those prizes, Heidi. Sure. Okay, let's turn around. <laughs> play the game. I'm going to give you uh, two answers for each I'm waiting uh, for TV Nintendo screen, to be invented. And uh, you come up with the right answers, and those prizes are yours. You all set? Let's go with number one. Heidi, is this Tron, Tron. or Space Trek? Tron. Correct. Right. Number two, is this Defender or Stargate? S Stargate. No! Oh! Number three. She got it. Nice. Stargate's is this the sequel. Wild Western oh, okay. or Cowboys and Indians? Cowboys and Indians. Cowboys and Indians. No. No. Oh. Sorry, Western. but if you get this next one right, you win yourself a prize. Number four. Is this Space Duel or Solar Fox? Space Duel. 
face duel. Yep, you got it. What the hell was that you game? That was just three a demo right. screen. Try to trick her with Defender you won 1 or 2. Casio VL tone as a prize and you might get to play the next bonus round That's and so even cool. go home with the video arcade game of your own and we'll be back with Heidi and John right after these words. She got the Casio though. Yeah, I'm happy for that. I I want to know. Fucking theme song is driving me berserk. The second round of competition on Starcade with John and Heidi, and we're going to play one more game this round. And whoever has the highest number of points gets to play the bonus round. And don't forget, we still have three games remaining on the program. The four and ghosts are of those blinky, games is a bonus bashful, prize. You call the game, uh, and you might just win that bonus prize. And don't forget, one of you hopefully will go home today Absolutely. with your very own eyes I'm pretty sure I got video one of those arcade right. game. So if you're all set for another question, hands maybe I played a ROM please. hack. And I think good he luck did. To both you he and played Pac-Man. When the mother Sick kangaroo edition. rescues her baby in the game Kangaroo, what song plays? Is it A, Happy Days Are Here Again, or B, Oh Susanna? John? B, Oh Susanna. You got it. That's what it is. Oh Susanna. He knows. He knows his kangaroo. Means, well, since you're here, pick out the game that you want. One of those are remaining. Speedy Shadow games. Pokemon. Oh, I'm so Damn. excited about it. <laughs> I win the game. Burger time. Burger time it is. Okay. Come on. Well, you're halfway here already. Let's go over and play Burger Time, yeah, and here's Kevin pervert. to tell us how it's played. Build a burger. Help Chef Peter Pepper collect patties, cheese, lettuce, and buns. For bonus points, catch the pursuing hot dog, egg, and pickle in the burger. And if you can't catch them, immobilize them briefly by shaking pepper their way. Complete a burger on the platter and feast on your success. It's burger time. John, we're going to play the Burger Time with you, with and this is a very <laughs> important round. If you can play the bonus round, if you beat Heidi in this game right here, we're going to give you 30 seconds on our clock to play Burger Time the best as you possibly can. Okay, I'm ready if the machine is. It's a little I'm bit of a help. Good luck to you. In <laughs> position, 30 seconds on our clock. Ready? I'm always, begin. it's like Burger King foot lettuce, but video game style. Number 15, Burger Time foot lettuce. <laughs> And you want to see Peter Pepper's food fungus. <laughs> Look at his face. He's like, I'm stepping all over your burger. You like that? <laughs> what I mostly want to know is why is the egg chasing him? I put an egg in a burger. Okay, that's fair. I haven't had an egg burger. 500 John, points. tell me, are you happy? Not particularly happy. What was the problem there with burger time? I just wasn't as good of a chef as I thought I was. <laughs> Very good. You're funny, too. I'll t I'll oh, someone doesn't like funny, him though. being uh, showed up. 500 points. Someone's a future That's millionaire. That's all scored in 30 seconds on the clock. So uh, we're going to send gonna you back to the podium and bring up right now. Come on up good here, luck, please. dude. <laughs> he said he was going to be a millionaire comedy writer, which is even funnier. <laughs> well, do you think you can beat 500 points in 30 seconds? Well, we know he can do comedy. Seconds? He said yes, it's a good joke. Well, we're going to wish you luck. Turn around, please. In position, 30 seconds on the clock. Here you go, Heidi. Ready? Begin. Heidi's gonna, Heidi's gonna smoke his ass. Oh, she trapped the egg yeah, that's how you and do the it, sausage. Girl. She already beat him. She already she beat already him ten does. seconds okay. in. Pepper, pepper. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Give me thirty seconds. Use all your pepper. Go, 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 go. Those in the fucking dirt, Heidi. <laughs> we all want these people Heidi, to be shown up. Let's go back to the podium right now and see who gets to play our next bonus round on Starcade. And looking at the points, John, 500 points for Burger Time. Heidi, 800. And that means, Heidi, one more time, join me down here and let's play the Heidi, bonus round. Heidi, you're just. Demolished. Demolished. You're a man. dead man. You last time, did you? But uh, maybe today and this one right now, you can do a little bit better and win a prize. And uh, all you have to do is identify at least three out of the four video games we're going to show you on our TV screens, and you'll win some prizes. And here's Kevin to tell you what those prizes are. Heidi, three correct answers gives you the tabletop version of Midway's Pac-Man, complete with joystick control. Hey, it even shows like best score. The arcade <laughs> game even you shows take home score? with you, Midway's Pac-Man by Coleco. And for four correct answers, ah, it's the okay. Texas Instruments home computer I'd for education, those. home finance, and entertainment. Did it's not finance? just for playing, no, it's also we, for it, learning. We purchased it after the crash. By and Texas Instruments. Parents got it at well, good luck to you on bonus round nice. number two. Yeah. This is your second chance. Let's turn around and take a look at our monitors and look at the 
games. I'll give you two yeah, answers. I love the zoom in on the one. Uh, still card. One of them card. is the right answer. <laughs> you come up with the right answers, and you are a winner. Let's take a look at number one there, Heidi. Is this Defender or Stargate? Defender. Yes. Unbelievable. Number they did two. it to her again. Is this Kong Jumpman or Donkey Kong Jr.? Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr. Jr. You got it. Yeah, yeah. Number three. Heidi, is this Black Hole or The Pit? The Pit. Yep. Yo, the, the Pit shout out. Number Bear four. mention of The Pit. Heidi, is this Star React or Reactor? Reactor. Star React. No, I'm oh, sorry. Oh, Heidi! Not, but turn around anyway, and you've won yourself a yeah, prize. Yeah, she knows the She knows more games than she knows. And you have yourself a tabletop Pac-Man <laughs> for your efforts. It doesn't get more and obscure we'll than that. And we'll be back with more of Heidi and John, and to see who gets to play for the oh, yeah, very the own video well. arcade game Don't ever play following the these words. <laughs> Some Heidi of our stands a good chance here. And some I'd, of the I'd put my bets on it if I was a betting person. The famous red ball joystick from Wicco, making joysticks for actual arcade games the like those used on Starcade. Wicco Command Control, the one and only arcade quality joystick for home use. The TI-5130 printer display desktop Sick. calculator from Texas Instruments. Anything you do with you numbers, to, Texas uh, Instruments can help you like do that. better. No. Electronic I did. fun with it computers cool and games is the magazine of the computer age. Ooh. Easy to read, witty, and informative. It's the ultimate Easy magazine for gamers and witty computer and informative. users of all ages. Electronic fun with computers and games. Yeah, I want to add the machine. Of Star K today, and let me say to you, John, and Heidi, nobody my taxes. picked the game that has the bonus prize attached to it. It's glad to give you some good old memories. Game, yeah, I hope you, you enjoyed. Have a bonus prize, but right now, John, I've got some bad news for you. I think it was. You have five thousand three hundred and twenty points total score right now, and Heidi, you have seven thousand points, and you get to play for your own video arcade game. Heidi wins. Congratulations to you, Heidi. Big winner. Heidi, we have two games remaining. If you pick Swimmer as your final game, you must score at least 310 points. And if you pick Blueprint, you must score 2,260 points. Now, those are the average scores based on 20 people playing those games for a 30-second time period. That's a lot the of same people. amount of time that you'll have. Heidi, which one is it? Swimmer. Swimmer it is. And come on down to the playing area. Kevin, please tell us all about Swimmer. Is that a Nichibutsu game? Dive in and paddle your way upstream. Sure? Avoiding driftwood and curious snapping turtles. Ever play this one? Scoring no, never. Gather up the floating fruit for bonus no. points. Oh, God, no, God, no, no. be ready to hold no. your breath and dive to elude the dangers of the river. Come on in. The water's fine. You're the swimmer. Ow. Yeah, it looks Heidi, great. There's a giant crab in there. The water's fine. points in 30 seconds, that Eyes video arcade game is all yours. So good luck Win to you. Everybody wish eyes. Heidi luck, won't you? They're your friends out there. Here we go, Heidi. Lots of luck. 30 seconds on the clock. Beat 310, and you're a winner. Ready? Begin. Everybody cheer Heidi on. Oh, she hit the dive button, but ended up on a piece of driftwood. Oh, Heidi. Losing a huge chunk of time. Now you gotta pick up the fruit. That's the key to score in this game. Okay. The score to beat is 310. Oh she my did god! It. Heidi! She did it, Heidi! You want eyes! You have eyes now. Oh my Let's god! Take a look. Did you or did you not? Yes, you did. You have 430 points. And the Eyes Video Arcade game is yours. Do you yours. believe in miracles? You got your mom, your dad, your I don't, brother, but I believe in Heidi. Here. I Come do believe down, in John. Heidi. Congratulate Heidi. Heidi, won't you? This is Mark Richards. Thank you all for being with us on Starcade. See you next time. Bye-bye. Right, the feel-good story of the year. Good job, Some Heidi. Transportation furnished by budget rent a car where you get the You can rent a car like this one. Service. I don't want to get hit by that car. Wow, I want to go to the Gross Inventor Inn in the Civic Center. I don't know, but I want to go into this one. Portions of the star yeah, Mark is just standing there dazed. Like, what happened? Hairstyling by Shane by a dang seven year old. Mr. Richard's wardrobe furnished it's by Taylor Man. San Francisco. This is Kevin McMahon speaking. This has been a JM production. Imagine being a seven year old winning an arcade cabinet based on your own video game skin. I would, I would never let anyone forget that as long as I That would be the sickest thing that would happen to me in my life. I'd be like, remember when I was on Starcade and I won eyes? <laughs> Like, what the fuck is eyes? And then you're like, look, look, it's eyes. You like that game, right? Come on with me. Play it. Play eyes. Don't you like eyes?
All right, so what do you all think of the very first episode of Starcade compared to the later ones? <sighs> different host, different theme. The theme is much more manic. It feels like yeah. It feels like my heart's gonna explode listening to this. I feel like I'm getting attacked. Yeah. From Humble Origins, they did retool the show, adding a much more interesting host. That guy didn't even know that the that Heidi won at the end. He, he was all like, uh, let's see what happened, because I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, what the hell? You just got to look at the scoreboard. <laughs> yeah, infamously, this guy didn't give a shit about video games. and didn't know anything about them. And supposedly, that played a, a role in his replacement. Music to go insane by. <laughs> a little bit. All right, Alex. Oh, man. You okay. saw your hero, Heidi Starfield. <laughs> Heidi Starfield, what a name. Win a copy of the Eyes Arcade game by playing Swimmer. So, how about you give it a try? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hold up. Alex, you have 30 seconds to score 310 points. Are you ready? No, but let's go. Let's go. You have the one dive button, otherwise you just collect the fruit. Alex is already making headway, and you did it! You won your own Eyes Arcade Cabinet, Alex! I won an Eyes Arcade Cabinet! You did it in <clears> half <throat> the time that Heidi took. Amazing. <laughs> Incredible. I just got good RNG, a bunch of Wow. Fruit. Oops. A bunch of fruit just popped up in front of me. <laughs> Why do I get banned? <laughs> and time! Look at that, 880 points. Sick. Alex, I'm so proud of you. You won. I did it. Danny, why did I have to win the cabinet for serial killers? <laughs> you won eyes. Uh, I I mean, I I would I, I bet eyesight I'd like new ones. Thank yeah, you. a new pair of eyes. A brand new pair of eyes. Ah. Man, I'm so fucking hyped. Good job, Alex. Thank you. I was pretty exciting. Okay, so let's go back to uh, the second host. Let's go to episode 36. I picked an episode with an absolutely deranged selection of games. Uh, <laughs> depending on what you may feel, you may choose to play among these. Actually, I'll let you have a pick. Okay, the first three games listed for episode 36. Let's say they're one, two, and three. What do you pick? Do I have to just pick one? Yeah. I'm picking Bagman. All right. This episode begins with a Bagman challenge, and Alex is going to take the Bagman challenge himself. Episode 36. Bagman finally gets his day. In court. No! This is Starcade, TV's first video arcade game show, starring your favorite video games and some brand new ones. I like that it's starring my favorite video games. Same! I wouldn't now, have it any other way. Here's your host for Starcade, Jeff Edwards! All right, thank you very much. Welcome to Starcade. We're backstage. Our players are getting ready for today's match. And get ready they should, because today, one of them's going to have the opportunity Alex had an absolutely twisted selection of games available games to him. Yeah, I didn't like the other ones at all. You won't okay, believe what the other Star ones are. This is a real... I saw that selection. I I, I mean, I, I don't mean to say anything. This just seems like a rancid episode. It's, uh, well, some people like these games. Yeah, the same age group, imagine. Oh, right, here we are, a nice studio audience, and we have some good contestants today. Let's meet them right now. Your name is? Yeah, Grapplop. Allison Chaney, and... And what? And I'm 12 years old. Oh, and I'm uh, 24. What do you... Tell me a little bit about yourself, Allison. Well, as you know, I'm Allison Chaney, and... And you're 12 <laughs> oh, okay. years old. Yeah. <laughs> what else? I live in Thousand Oaks, California, and my hobbies are baseball and softball, and flag football and whoa oh, you're quite a sports freak okay. aren't you mm -hmm. good allison nice to have you on the show and you are i'm lawrence lee and i just finished my sophomore year at uh, college at college no yeah. kidding good for you what are you majoring in uh business administration is this a good luck piece around your neck here yes it is <laughs> all right well we'll wish you good luck uh, lawrence and allison as you know administration. our contestants are matched up based on their ability and facing off against games, allison chains which i think is, is what her name is to win this <laughs> fabulous video arcade game it is buck rogers today that's well, a good one. Allison, okay. shake hands and get ready to go play Starcade. It's no eyes, the though. And as you get ready, Kevin will yeah, his joke about being 24 didn't land today, at all. <laughs> that was awesome. 
Jeff, where else but on Starcade can you have an old Western shootout, destroy a fleet of spaceships, and run off with money bags all in one half hour? Our first game today, Crow, a great combat with a terrible foe. Crow. Next is Galaxian, a weapon okay. zapping spacey chase. Guzzler, what? and you're a waterman. Bagman, <laughs> a race through the mines for money. And you're a waterman. Wild you're Western, a waterman. Good guys and bad, bad guys on a train chase. Jeff? All right, Kevin man. and Allison and Lawrence, those are our five games. Both of you had a chance to play them before today's show. One of them is a mystery game. If you pick that within the first three games, you automatically win a prize. And we'll let the I should have chose Guzzler because I want to be a water man. Is, Kev. Our mystery game today is Kroll. Oh. All right, now they know. And Anyone I'm here remember you a Kroll? Question, Allison and Lawrence, first one to buzz in gets to answer the question. Answer correctly, and you pick our first game. Here we go. Dan guy on a dream The chase. chef on Burger Time can Thanks score extra Thank points you. by smashing Mr. Hot Dog, Mr. Egg, or Mr. Pickle between uh, A, between burger parts, or B, with a spatula. Allison. Spatula? No, sorry. Allison, it's between the no. Burger Allison, That's there's no spatula in Burger there's Time. There's never been a spatula in Burger Time. What the fuck? What game are you going to play first? Play Bagman. Bagman. Oh, one of my Boo personal this favorites. Child. So let's find out how to Get play Get out of here, kid. <laughs> It's time for Jeff, I know I don't need to tell you how to play this game, but for the benefit of our contestants, the money is yours for the taking. Grab it up and hurry to the waiting wheelbarrow on the surface and plunge into the mine for more. Defend yourself with a pickaxe or hop aboard a passing ore cart for a ride into another area of the mine. Save time and steps by taking the mine elevator to the surface. I can't believe this is the game is you picked, pursuit, Alex. Slow him up Why? By What's wrong with Bagman? You're the Bagman, and you're your I'm the Bagman. <laughs> now, Lawrence, why'd you pick Bagman? Because uh, I like it better than the other games. Okay, I like Bagman too. So does our director, Phil Martino, who holds a high score here among the Starcade staff. <laughs> uh, Bagman got a posse. In 50 seconds is uh, <laughs> just to get as much money as you can and put it in that wheelbarrow. If the guards in hot pursuit drop the money on them. And, Did uh, anyone like Bagman this much? Outside yeah. of Starcade. Okay, well, we get, really get ready. Where they come get set. And Uncle Play. Pooh. Danny, did you see Uncle Pooh? I hope they have an Uncle Pooh cabinet. There he goes. Wait. Wait for the guard and then pick up the axe. You got it. Oh. Now he's going to go. Uncle Pooh is not seconds. fake, it is a name. You gotta get the money up to the wheel, bro. There's one bag of money. Oops. You're gonna be in trouble. Look out! Oh, oh, oh. You got one more guy. Yeah. Do you have time? Let's find out. Gotta climb the ladder. 15 seconds. Got the bag. God, the contestants look, look so much better not in stuff. Now, now you can go. Yeah. I'm glad they Six, stopped seven, that. Five, will you make it? Oh, right before. Well, you have 4,000 points. Lawrence, not bad in 50 seconds. Head on back. And here comes That's Allison. That's heartbreaking. Almost got a big payday. Okay, Allison, you like Bagman? I don't know. I've only played it once, and that was here. Oh, that was before the show. Well, it's a fun I don't know game this to play. Shit. If you get it right, the best thing you do is get that money into the cart, uh, into the wheelbarrow as fast as you can, Allison, okay? Okay. All right, here we go. Don't get killed. 50 seconds. Ready? <laughs> don't get you killed. Don't get killed. Go. Come on, Alex, don't get killed. Get the bag. There you go. I'm trying to pick up multiple you bags. Got that I got it. Mm. Oh, look out. Uh oh. What are you going to do now? Oh, mm -hmm. you're in trouble. You're in trouble. Oh, yeah. oh too bad. I guess that doesn't okay, work. Next guy no. coming up. Here we go. Come on. Andy, Remember, don't everybody. Get killed. Remember, everybody, don't get killed. Where's he going to go? Try not to get killed for high school. This game seems kind of impossible. Yeah, good thing you picked it. Yeah, uh, why didn't I pick Guzzler? I'm the water man. Ten seconds. Hurry up. Up that ladder. Come on, Allison. Five, four. No, you dropped it too soon. Oh, no. No. You just dropped it before the wheelbarrow. Allison, no. That's all right, there's other games coming up. You have 940 points. We'll be right back to find out who gets to choose the next game here at Starcade. Tragic, tragic. But can you right the wrongs of the past, Alex? By no. getting a high score in Bagman? God, no. Let's let's see him do it. Everybody cheer Alex on. I'm actually going to remember the, uh, the, the cheering noises Thank of approval. Thank you for approval. cheering me.
bag man. Bag man. Bag man. Bag she man. Chosen Guzzler, man. but I was like, Guzzler's gonna be too. Mm. All right, Alex, you have fifty seconds to score either four thousand or nine hundred points. Well, here's the good news. I've never played Bagman before in my life. Never a better time to start. Let's go. Alex starting out, climbing his way out of the mine shaft, being a Bagman. Everyone knows that Bagman lives in the mines, and he uh, siphons off gold from enterprising prospectors. Uh -huh. Good dodge. M1. M1 is what he says is when he uh, puts a thing in there. Oh, look out! Look out! Oh, sick dodge! Sick fucking dodge! <laughs> Alex! We're witnessing a miracle here on Starcade. <laughs> Unbelievable play of Bagman from Alex Retropal. Coming up on the final five seconds. How much more can he store? And time! Alex, you have scored 10,290 points, easily beating the 4,000 points and 900 points set by our two contestants on Starcade. What the hell? How did I do that? I have never seen a better Bagman player in my entire life. Holy shit. Thank you, Sepicide19, for gifting a sub to Bagman. And Alex, you... Alex crushed that. How did I do that? Well, thank you, Anne October, as well, for the 100 ba bits. Yeah, it turns out this game is my bag. <laughs> Oh my god, okay, cool. I hate I hate that it set you up for that joke. It did, it was good. Well, holy hell. Swimmer and Bagman so far are Alex's games. Alex, consider a uh, a career in Bagman play. Okay, okay. I think, I'm going to be think a bag have, streamer. I think you have a bright future. Stay with us, please. Holy shit. How do you eliminate the pursuing goldfish in the game make tracks? <laughs> Who's thinking? That's me, that's my face. By rolling over them with your paintbrush. Of course. Oh, BBH would beat all these challenges, no question. <laughs> oh yeah, BBH would destroy me. Some of the Starcade staff stays at the beautiful Pacific Plaza Hotel, New a hotel. small Grand Lux hotel in the European tradition, small one block from hotel. Union Square in know. San Francisco. Small the Grand Lux. audience travels by way of trailways, bus Hey, lines. remember when they traveled by limo and now it's trailways, trailways, bus? Go big red, go trailways. Go trailways. The grand Take prize the bus. today on Starcade is the video arcade game Buck Rogers, and you will be on a race seen this space one? in the 25th century. I, I have not actually. Heavily armed channels, it's used advanced hardware for the time. Tunnels, and around the okay, this looks pretty sick. This would be really city. sick for it's the time. Buck Rogers, furnished by Sega Electronics. And, and now Sega. back to Starcade with Jeff Edwards. Not like Gremlin okay, or Century yeah. or whatever. Well, Bagman is over with. Let's see how we stand. Not a laser disc game. It actually had scaling technology. You have 4, points. Well, Lawrence, I have more money than you. I mean, points. You, you have more money than me. Alex, sure. if you were competing on the show, it would be over at this point. <laughs> Ten thousand points? Are you kidding okay. me? Yeah, I don't know how I did that. The lead, but there is one more game to be played in this round, and the total points scored on both games will determine who gets to play the name the game board. So I have a question. If you guys are ready, here we go. Frogger rescues the lady frog from the floating log. He gets extra points. A, automatically. B, when and if he reaches home base. The second one. Lawrence. A, automatically. No, it's when and if Wrong he reaches Lawrence. home base. And Allison, good you for gotta you. take he the lady frog finished. back home. Now, let's see if you can pick a Make love to the frog lady for points. Ah! Crawl. Crawl. She wanna play crawl. Never mind, this kid's awesome. Alright, that's the mystery game. Crawl. Good for you. You get a prize and Kevin will tell you what it is. It's a white's metal detector featuring ground exclusion metals cool. to help you locate coins, jewelry, and precious metals while excluding mineralized soil. A metal detector from White's Electronics. All right. Metal detectors are pretty cool. And to find out how to play that game, we'll ask the man who it's learned a good to, way to find after trash. He learned to watch. Kev. Sometimes, Jeff, you can be so cruel. You're on a Oof. mission to rescue Princess Lisa from the Beast. First, collect the pieces of your weapon, the glaive, avoiding the crushing boulders. Then, begin the adventure, picking up your army for points. You know, it's good at bagging the glaive. This, this game's kind of sick. That always returns. You are it's based on the movie, right? It is. Right, you gotta collect your glaive. Game, okay, Allison? Okay. And you listen to Lawrence, if you will. Uh, when you go to pick up the glaive, those boulders are gonna be coming down at you. If you stay at the edges, you're safe, all right? 
Okay. All right, then if you get to the next screen, you're going to want to pick up your own army, but they'll come to you as you go and, and We're fire We're all banning the, Kevin. Uh, mm -hmm. All right, you ready to go? Yes. Good luck to you, Allison. Get ready, get set. Another weird play. dual stick game. <clears throat> okay. All right, got to get the blade. Kind of a strange one, this game. One. It's in multi multiple scenes, and they all have different gameplay. Ah, oh, okay. Like Journey. Yeah, like Journey. Getting boulder blocked for real. Whoa, whoa, run, Crash Bandicoot, run! <laughs> This does look cool. I want to play this. Doing great. Level one. Good glaving. Good glaving. <laughs> Shoot the slayers. Eight thousand eight hundred eighty. Well played, Allison. Terrific. Head on back here. Not comes bad. Lawrence. Not bad. Eight thousand eight hundred eighty. All right, Lawrence. Lawrence, that's a pretty tough score. What do you think? I don't know. I'll try. How are you at this game? Uh, average. Average. All right. We'll find out what average is. You have 50 seconds. Get ready. Lawrence is shaking. Get set. He's quaking what? in his boots. All right. Here we go. Here's one. I don't know. That, that kid has some really good play. Oh, no. You're going to get boulder blocked. See? You hate to see it. Okay. A little bit better luck with the boulders. Mm -hmm. So it's the true meaning of average, Lawrence. No, it. No. Yes. Oh, he's got plenty of time heading into round two. Hey, Red Rock. Welcome. Mm -hmm. All right, shoot the the scroll lords or whatever it said. Oh, the dudes are a thousand points each. He just ran past all of them. Lawrence! Lawrence, you beat it! Lawrence, you panicked! You had that shit! Whether it's gonna be enough for Allison, I'm not sure. Both of you had a chance to play Bagman and Crawl, and now one of you is gonna play for a special prize, so we'll total up the scores from both games to see who gets to play the name the game board. And Allison, you have a total so far of 9,820. Lawrence, you have. 11,380. Lawrence, you get to play the game. Because of his bag skills. They'll take you okay, far in this world. You, as you know, is the name of the game board. Don't look at it right yet, okay? Because we're going to show you four video games, and if you name the games correctly, you're going to win a good prize. Now, are you ready to go? Yeah. Okay, now you can turn around. Take a look up there in the upper left hand corner. Is that Robbie Roto the or Dig Dug? What is this? Robbie Roto. Right, you are. That's one. Dug. Number two. Is that Rescue the or Sea Battle? The fuck is this? Sea Battle. No, sorry, it's Rescue. Number three, Cosmic Chasm or Reactor. Cosmic Chasm. No, it's Reactor. That's too Lawrence. bad. Lawrence. Let's just take number four. Is that Kicks or Fusard? Kicks. Yes, it okay, is Okay, you got okay. that one at well, least. That's it. <laughs> you don't win anything, Lawrence. You, only got you two failed us once again. It's not enough for a prize, but you're in the lead, and we'll see whether you can take home your Buck Rogers. Or if Allison is going to catch Yeah, no one knows Reactor. <laughs> Who were they? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold okay. on. <laughs> just for a split second, you see two random. Crawl just... creepy pasta. <laughs> All right, here we go. Video news. Game news from the Starcade Hotline. There's a whole lineup of games now that have been oh. created from successful movies or television series. Yeah, no Tron shit. started it all. First came the movie, and then the game. Then Buck Rogers went from television to game. Next came Star Trek, and then the big box office hit Star Wars went video. Ah, the big box office hit Star Wars. And the game were released for the very first time. Crawl, a journey into a magical land. The logic for turning successful movies into games is pretty obvious. The game really puts you into the action. Plenty of action left today on Star Trek. Yeah, game. was Tron Here's successful? Right I don't know. One game Maybe that was just play. a wishful thinking sort of thing. After that, we'll total up all the scores and the top score on all games. He's going to get a chance to win that Buck Rogers game. So, Allison, you ready? Lawrence, you ready? Here's your question. Oh, over here is your question. <laughs> there you are. Okay. 
How many snow bees hatch to pursue Pengo the penguin when the game begins? A, like three. three, B, four. I'll read it again. How many <laughs> snow what bees the fuck? hatch to pursue <laughs> Pengo those words the you penguin just said? when the game begins? A, three, B, four. Lawrence. Three. Three is right. Good for you. Yeah, I would have said three. <laughs> All right, Lawrence. There's three games left. Which one shall it be? Guzzler. Guzzler. Guzzler it is. Hate and the name Guzzler. This, this lineup Guzzler. is for sickos. <laughs> what? What? <sighs> it's the Guzzler. A waterman <laughs> putting out fireballs, flashes, and demons, collecting more water from puddles, or by just walking if he's completely empty. The faster he extinguishes the fire, the bigger the points. He's a waterman, the Guzzler. <laughs> <laughs> the guzzler. Pictures in the center, and you can get to those. You're gonna get some bonus points. Okay. He's a water now, man. Don't run out of water. If you run out of water, you gotta go drink some, or just walk around, and you'll fill up. Ready to go? Yes. All right, you have 40 seconds. You're guzzling you something. Luck. Get ready. Get set. Play. All right, let's see how sick this kid is at guzzler. This is a game where you gotta put out fires because you are a water man. At least someone in college with the big man does it. He's probably a big fan of this. Yeah. You're listening to Bagman and the Guzzler. <laughs> okay, about 15 seconds left. There you go. It's not shitty, Pac-Man. It's the Guzzler. <laughs> it's the Guzzler. The Guzzler. Alright, can Allison do good in the Guzzler? Okay, Lawrence, head on back. Let's see what happens to Allison. Come on, Allison. Who would voluntarily play Guzzler? And Allison, you need some That's more, why I didn't... Right? Even I want to play Guzzler. I, I saw Guzzler and I was like, no. No, just that I want to win. Well, I don't blame you for wanting to win. There's a big prize at stake here. Let's see how well you do. And you got a chance to catch up now. Just don't get burned up, okay? Right. Here we go. 40 seconds. Don't get, get killed and don't get burned up. Play. Yeah, this is a total laundromat game. This is a laundromat game. They don't have arcade machines at laundromats anymore. That's a damn thing. She's already close to beating Lawrence's score. He had 2,600. Oh, there you go. Okay. Bubble Bobble is a much better game to have in your laundry map than Guzzler. Yeah. Alright. Guzzle the laundry Oh. 3,100. Well, Allison, you beat Lawrence at Guzzler, but whether it's enough points, we'll find out in a minute. Head on back next to Lawrence. You're a water man. Guzzler is a water man. time when we add up all the scores and find out who today's big winner is. Allison, your grand total is... 12,920. This is going to be a close one. Lawrence sits with 14,000. Oh, Lawrence wins. Lawrence, Lawrence you wins. Guys, you're the winner today. Congratulations. Nice play. And Allison, it was purely his skill at Bagman that got him this. Pay attention, time. Alex. Okay. And I hear you want to be the first lady baseball player. Yeah. I hope you make it. Good luck to you. Nice hand yeah. for Allison. She played a good game. Keep working at your Bagman skills. You this is where it gets you. Okay. We have something in particular, and that is a prize for being the big winner. Kevin? First, it's Konica's new Disc 15, the world's first autofocus disc camera. Get sharp pictures from 14 inches to infinity automatically. The only to disc camera on to Earth infinity? with autofocus, Disc 15 by Konica. And the Spectre Video SV318, Still a personal computer you grow into and not out of, featuring built-in CPM compatibility, 32K of ROM, 32K of RAM, 10 user-definable functions, and a built-in joystick from Spectre Video. Yeah, well, buddy. See if Lawrence can keep up the good work and see yeah, if what is a disc camera? With him. We'll find out I gotta, I'm gonna look that up. Well, do you think Lawrence is gonna win? 
he's got the bagman skills, which is he a does. Rare, it's a rare set of skills, especially some nowadays. Some of our contestants and some members of the studio audience will receive Trigger Command, the joystick making America trigger happy. I Comfort really, yeah, I don't really like hate that, that tagline. <laughs> you don't need anything to, to make America more trigger, trigger happy. Command joystick from Electra Concepts and two brand new games for the Atari juice. by Tronics, Juice and Kid Grid. Fast What's action, the complex juice strategy, art? superior What's sound, the kid and multiple art? levels of play by Tronics. Never and heard of it. Astro Snicks. They live on a happy, friendly planetoid called Snickeria, which millions of light years ago came to our solar system from the Milky Way. Astro Snicks are available at fine gift stores everywhere. I like the Astro Snicks. I'm losing my fucking mind over game. here. What well, was any of that? Now it's time to go for the big prize. It's a chance Can't you win like a nice Teddy Ruxpin or something? Game. It is Buck Rogers today. We have two games left unplayed, Wild Western and Galaxian. Now, during the commercial, we informed you that if you picked Wild Western, you'd have to score at least 543 points. If you picked Galaxian, you'd have to score at least 1,483 points. Those are the average scores of more than 20 other players that play these same games. And you reached a decision, and you picked... Galaxian. Galaxian. Okay, Galaxian is it. That means if you score 1,483 points or more in 30 seconds, you're going to win our grand prize. That Buck Rogers is going to be yours. So we'll ask it's true. I was thinking about that about Galaxian that toy, to too. To Very questionable name. <laughs> we are the Galaxians, and we have but a single ship to stop the attacking aliens. Kevin, we can go zap home. them while they're in formation. We don't need your services anymore. Fight for bigger I, points. And if we can zap the I, I, I respect Kevin. That's best of all. Honestly, we and I think y'all should, the too. the Galaxians. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. Are you pretty familiar with this game? Yes. All right, you know then that if when they uh, peel off to attack you, you get more points for the attacking ships. Right. If you see two reds and a yellow, hit the two reds first, then the yellow, and you get extra points. Okay. All right, that's what mm -hmm. you need to do in 30 seconds. Score one. It's a quick conversion away to be in a bongo Buck cabinet. Rogers is yours. Get ready. should have played bongo get on this set. show. You Play. just want more bongo. Yeah. He has to beat 1,483 points. I don't know where the three is going to come from. Oh man. He hit the formation and that was it. That was all she wrote. Nice. Fucking congrats, Lawrence, on the Buck Rogers machine. Ah, goodbye, troubles. Troubles, you're getting zapped. I want a Buck Rogers cabinet. That's awesome. Way to go, Lawrence. Honestly, good job, Lawrence. It was a close victory, but he was really, really good at Bagman. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's what that's what won him that arcade cabinet. RP Zap Troubles. <laughs> that should be a sound game. Uh, please zap my troubles. I'm just waiting for someone to come along and zap my troubles. Can't fit that thing in your college dorm. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, roommate. You don't get a bed. We have a uh, Buck Rogers cabinet. You can sleep inside. Yeah, just empty it out. Put your head in the, the point part. Yeah, plenty of room. This is Kevin McMahon speaking. Starcade is a JM production. All right, Alex. You saw Lawrence take home a victory in Galaxian, but can you do the same thing? Oh God! Why are you no? <laughs> Okay, can I just play Bongo instead? No. Okay. <laughs> now, Alex, just like Lawrence, you have 30 seconds to score 1,483 points. Are you up for it? Uh, yes. Are you up for the challenge? Yes. All right, let's go. All right. Coins inserted. All right, start her up. And go. Mm. No idea how good Alex is at space shooting games. I picked a whole bunch of episodes to uh, test a whole bunch of his abilities tonight. Oh, the formation just passed by. Huge scoring opportunity just sailing by in the wind. In space, where wind exists. Wind and sound and guns. Alex, I'm sorry to say you have about five seconds here. Five, four, hey, look at my three, my two, one. And we're done. Lawrence with... whipped my ass. Lawrence kicked my ass. Well, you got the 480 part, part of the score, but you needed a thousand more than that, so you were yeah. a little a little bit far off. But I think your uh, I think your bagman skills will carry you much further in life. Frankly. It will. It will. <laughs>
You just like that I'm good at bag man. You're you're so proud. I, I'm very proud of you. This is a new dimension to you that I hadn't seen before today. <laughs> well, how about another episode of Starcade? Let's do an episode that was recommended by patron Earl the Third. Earl the Third wants to see episode sixty-two of uh, of our our good old Starcade. So why don't we do that? Yeah, it's okay. I have a cabinet of eyes, so I'm good. This is Starcade, TV's first video arcade game show. I think you're gonna like the challenge in this one. Favorite video games uh. and some brand new ones being introduced to the public. For the I think for this one, I just want you to do the final now, challenge. Okay, here's okay. Your host for Starcade. Give you a little break for Jeff this one. Edwards. Hi, welcome to Starcade. Here we are backstage where our players are warming up for today's big match because today one of them is gonna have the opportunity to win their very own video arcade game. Warm up time over. Ready? Let's go play Starcade. You need to talk into the microphone, dude. I learned this over eight years of streaming. I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> Graplop. Graplop. When's people going to play Graplop? Yeah, two adults. Can you imagine? Oh, I have a nice studio audience here today. Welcome. Nice to have you here at Starcade. This is where it all happens. And let's meet our contestants right now. Your name, please? Leo Schwab. Leo, nice to know you. How are you? I'm fine. Good. You got any I'm hobbies fine. or anything you want to tell us about? Yeah, I'm into uh, computers and electronics. Ah, no. Hey, what's that in your hand? Uh, this is a little goofy Christmas ornament I put up as a college project. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, just flash are you sure that's not some kind of explosive <laughs> device? <laughs> yeah. Right, good. Well, then that is this, gonna take uh, it? this guy's going to take out Starcade from the inside. Right, nice to have you here, Leo. Vance, I know your first name. What's your last name? McGurk. Vance McGurk, what do you do for, uh, for fun? Well, I play... Video games and my hobbies are basketball and table tennis. Cool. Okay, I think we're going to have a good game today. The two of you have been matched up according to your playing ability and playing today's games. And today, one of you is going to have a chance to win this fabulous video arcade game. It's that it Leo is Schwab? Right. From the Amiga art one of my scene? Favorite games. So shake hands, let's go play Starcade. Here we go. Good luck to if you. If that's both. the same guy, I will shit. They're going over there. Kevin will tell us what games we're going to be dealing with today. Kevin? Game number Wait, one. Wait, really? Super Pac Man. And the great one is back. Time to check and chat game real loudly, Archie. Super Zaxxon, a far out flight in space. Game number three today, Bagman, a race for bucks. Return of Bagman. Fourth position, pole position, an pole exhilarating position. race. And number five today, Star Trek, a mission okay. to explore new worlds. Jeff? Okay, thanks a lot. Now, today, uh, today's five games Kevin just told you about. Both of you have had a chance to play them before today's show, but I want to tell you this one of them. Is the mystery that little Christmas ornament he made definitely games, had Amiga a ball vibes? So I get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. That's a that's a kid who Ooh. dreams an Amiga. All right, everybody knows now except the three of us. Now, I'll be damned. I'm ask you a question. First one to buzz in gets to answer the question. Answer future Pixar loss, lawsuit Star victim. <laughs> so hands on buzzers. In the game Kangaroo, ringing of the bells I can signifies turn this up. a the safe return of the baby kangaroo. B, replenishing fruit supply. Vance. Replenishing fruit supply. Yes, B, replenishing fruit supply is right. Good for you. <laughs> All right, you got the advantage. That means you get to pick the game. There's five games up there. Which game do you want to play first? Star Trek. Big pardon, Star, Star Trek? Trek? Star Trek it is. Kevin, how do you play Star Trek? Welcome aboard, Captain. Command the Starship okay. Enterprise on a Star Trek adventure. Your mission is to seek out and destroy Nomad and his gang of yeah, there it is. ships. Defend Follow that link from Obscuratory for real live yeah. video game Keep history as it unfolds in front of our eyes. Enemy, then zap them out of the galaxy using your targeting scanner. Dock with star bases for repairs It's supplies. true, both these contestants Be are pretty soft-spoken this time. The dangers are many in the game of Star Trek. Okay, Vance, well, you're starting us off in uh, good stead. Man, Star Trek is a pretty, uh, pretty tough game. Yeah, I think so. Uh, it's not my favorite game, but I'll see what I can do. Well, you're the one who picked it. I uh, know. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. Star Trek I like is, that. I don't uh, know. I just picked it. I just... Two schools of thought. Some, some people say you should dock at the star base uh, when you run low. Others say forget about it and just keep getting points. You pick out what you want to do. You'll have 50 seconds to play the game. You set to go? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, turn around. You're ready? I'm adjusting the volume, but it's I don't set. think there is a good volume for this episode. <laughs> okay. All right, kick ass at Star Trek. I got that. There you go. Almost. This game's cool. It's like the graphics right, are good. Right. All right, now it's loud. Is anyone here good at this game? This how do you kind of chaotic. How do you play this? 
It looks like it's just overwhelming. Mm -hmm. There's a big map screen and a big first person segment. Alright. 14 seconds. We got time for more points here. Points. No, that's it. Fifteen thousand four hundred and twenty-five. Okay. I that's thought that a lot of points. Favorite. It is. No, it's not, but I, I practice on it. Well, if you do better in some other game, you're going to be really tough to beat. Head on back, Vance, and uh, let's get Leo down here. Well, Leo, is, is this your favorite game? I enjoy it. Yes. Oh, well, okay for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he got over. I've been known to enjoy a Star Trek or two. You got any particular strategy you're going to use? Uh, I tend to avoid star bases because if you use them, your points go down dramatically. Aha, uh -huh. see, that's what I said. Some Ooh. people say that's the way to do it. Okay, turn around. Here we go. People got strategy for this game? 50 seconds. Hope y'all are listening. Ready? Get set. Play. <laughs> He's just going directly for the dudes and sniping them. Yeah, I think he's played this game before. I think so, too. What is this? Okay. Kid's a freaking monster at Star Trek. No problem here. You got him. On to the next sector. Ten seconds. You're going to get Damn, he's like five levels in already. In 20 seconds. <laughs> Jesus Christ! All what right. the fuck? That, this guy is amazing. How many points? You really play that game. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, stay right here. We're gonna be back in just a few moments. When we come back, we'll find out which player is gonna pick the next game right here on Star. I, I think this is no longer a competition. <laughs> This 28,000 points is a lot. Prize. Today on Starcade is the video arcade game Burger Time, a unique game of building burgers. Yeah, it's no eyes. Chased by hot dogs, pickles, and eggs. Burger Time, a great prize furnished by Data East. And now back to more Starcade with Jeff Edwards. Okay, whichever one of you guys, if you're in Strats tonight, mm -hmm. time, you got to invite me over to your house. I love that game. All right, let's check and look at the score. And we okay. Do you think he held anyone up to that promise? No, absolutely not. He is absolutely like, I'm done at the end of the day. Well, Leo, you're I'm going to go visit these kids at midnight asking to play Pingo in their garage. They're like, oh, my God, I don't. I sold my ice cabinet. No one likes eyes. Come on. Remember, first one to buzz in gets to answer the question. Answer it correctly. You'll pick the next game. When the domino man whacks with bully, or uh, I guess whacks Oh, that's bully cool. Leo domino, Schwab worked the on the tap a wave gets zodiac. Mad, B gets embarrassed. Wow. Vance. Gets mad. No, sorry. He gets embarrassed. And Leo, that means you pick the game. Now we have four games left. The mystery game hasn't been picked yet. Let's see how you do. Which one do you want to yeah, play? Who asked a question about domino well, man? Uh, I don't know. Let's try Super Pac Man. Super Pac Man. Okay. Okay. He's going to score a million points. That's a fun game. Sure, a lot of you are familiar with it. Uh, Kevin certainly is. Kevin? It's one of my favorites. The mild-mannered Pac-Man mildly eats rows of fruit and objects and chomps a few monsters to rack up points. Special keys open gates to more fruit, and the super button control gives him an extra burst of super speed. Chomping a super dot, he changes to Super Pac-Man, ten times his normal size, and able to chomp as he pleases, where he pleases, invincible to the monster's pursuit. Nice. It sounds like my kids at the dinner table. Okay. Well, uh, Leo, I, I, mean, I know you know how to play Super Pac Man. Your kids Leo are Schwab Pac was the lead programmer oh, yeah, yeah. on Escape okay. from I mean, Monster Manor for 3DO? Fuck yeah, dude. No. What? <laughs> All right. Yeah, 50 seconds. Turn around. Leo? Open the acceleration button. Ready? Get set. I like that side art. Play. Leo, you're a celebrity. Oh, oh fuck. He's also Don't sick at Super Pac Man. Oh, what God. the hell? Whoa. Leo, slow the fuck down. Leo, what the hell? Jesus Christ! Well, please don't make me compete against Leo. No, you're just... I'm, I'm making you take the final challenge of this episode. Oh, thank God. Because... Well, look. 27 seconds. Vance, I'm sorry, but this guy did Amiga demo scene stuff. You are... You're not going to win against the 3DO programmer, dude. No, that's so unfair. 3DO programmers have been to hell and back. 
And he has a YouTube channel. Check that out. Oh, death at the end, but still pretty darn good. No, no more. 9,460. Not bad. Uh, short period of time. How do you think you did? Uh, reasonably well. <laughs> you sure speak good for a guy who spends most of his life in a video arcade. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Come on down here, man. Fucking monster own out of nowhere. Oh, now he said that uh, he said he had a You're pretty smart pattern. for a dipshit. I don't have a pattern, but. Well, I got news for you. you better figure one out. I feel so bad for Vans. This is unfair. Okay, good. Good luck to you. Need some points here. You have 50 seconds. This is a, what you call Ready? a squash match. Get set. Play. From wrestling. Oh, you going good. All right, he's not bad. No, he's doing all right. Okay. I'll be careful. Got the start. Look out. Look out. Sharp catch. <laughs> ah. That's all right. Another one coming up. You have about 23 Honestly, seconds. Honestly, he needs to smack that smug motherfucker down a few pegs. Wow. Wow. We have we have a, a crowd favorite who's also gathering some heat. <laughs> May have time for another couple of points. Any points count. Here you go. Uh, that was like half you, the you score. Said you missed something there. Uh, I missed this uh, energizer right here. The energizer, yeah, which have made you super packed. Power here. pill, yeah. Okay, let's head on back and we're going to find out yeah. who's going to play the name of the game. <laughs> like, please don't make me both games to see I have to know trigonometry the and the names of the Pac Man up. things. Please don't make me know that. Leo's got his little geodesic <laughs> dome on top of his podium. <laughs> Leo, you have. Thirty-seven thousand. Yeah. <laughs> Leo, Leo, Leo. Leo. So far. Come on down here. And we'll play and name the game. Now, what we're going to do is behind you, you have the name the game board. We'll show you four video games. If you name the games correctly, you're going to win some good prizes. Kevin? For three correct answers, Leo, you'll win Sick. Mr. Disc, a compact personal portable phonograph. No Holy than hell. They still play make, they, they, they just started remaking those, I already see. Mr. Disc. And for four correct answers, yeah, he's like me. He, he played every game in MAME. Sisis Sensor Chest. chest there it the is. Performance of a computer in a compact package. Sisis provides eight levels of strategic play for the beginner to the advanced player. Sisis. You know, you're so good at this, Leo. I think what we should do to make it fair is we should ask you to name them without looking at them. <laughs> All right, turn around here. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do the upper that. Left hand no. Where we're going to start. Is that Explorer or Space Duel? Uh, Explorer. Right you are, one right. I hadn't seen that. Is this Stargate or Defender? Stargate. That is uh, what the Defender. Fuck Stargate. Sorry, oh. one wrong. Next, is that Space Rock or Asteroid? Asteroid. Space Asteroids rock. is right, good for you. And finally, four, Eliminator or Black Spiral? Eliminator. Eliminator is All right. All right, he got, got the cool right. audio technica that thing. That, that was disc. cool. Congratulations, you are a good player. And we're going to take a break right now. We'll I didn't have a portable now. record player have back a chance then. To win their own that would be some shit. That'd be so right sick. Alex, what game released in 1978 caused an unprecedented video game boom? Space Invaders? Well, well, Yay! well. Look who's been paying attention. I know a little bit about the video games. From the Starcade Hotline. About ghosts. The video game only a few will ever How many get ghosts? to play. It's a space capsule computer program to respond with rowing, pitching, and yawing up to 60 feet vertically, 40 feet laterally, I'm and I'm 8 sorry? feet longitudinally. The visual in the cockpit is fed through a TV camera that scans a large three-dimensional model of the Earth below. What Every the aspect fuck? of this video game is designed to simulate, in the most minute detail, space flight, because the people who fly it are playing for keeps. They're astronauts, and this is NASA's Space Shuttle Simulator. That Whoa. was sick! That games. was amazing! Jeff Edwards. They built a freaking well, warehouse for, a second, for a, gonna have a new an game elevator here. arcade cabinet. I really like that right, game. Yeah, it was so like a, round number two. a freaking... This is a big challenge. There's only one game left to play. This time it's like one of those motion theaters. After that, we're going to total up all the scores, and the top score on yeah, all there's Leo's website, working for 3DO and Tapwave. Game, and that is Burger Time. So here's your last question. Vance, you're going to want to get this one right because you're sure going to want to pick the game. Here we go. In Bump and Jump, in order to jump clear over each roadway menace, the player's mm -hmm. car must accelerate to at least what speed? 
A, 100 miles. B, 100 miles. Leo, uh, what, 100, 100 miles. miles. Yes, you answered even before I saw you were there. Leo's like, yes, it's 100 miles. I know. That's Come on. Exactly 100. The last game. All right, Leo, just one thing to tell you. The mystery game is still unchosen here. I'll go for Super Zaxxon. Super Zaxxon. Yeah, Super Zaxxon Zaxxon it is. That was not the mystery game. The mystery game uh, in today's play was pole position. Ooh. Okay, but you picked Super Zaxxon, and Kevin will tell us how to play. Kevin? You'll travel at supersonic speeds through the galaxy in your Super Zaxxon spacecraft. Soar past an ominous floating fortress, scoring points by battling hidden rockets, rotating turrets, tracking parabolic antennas, super spaceships, and maser barriers. You, uh, you seeing how fast this game goes? And face mm. the fire-breathing dragon. That's the big difference super from original Zaxxon. Zaxxon. It's like twice All as right, fast. All right, Leo, you picked Super Zaxxon. How long have you been playing video games? Oh, about two, two and a half years. Is that all? Boy, you sure are good. I've been playing for about 30 years. I started when there were radio games. You probably don't remember <laughs> that. Okay, we're going to play Super Zax on it. What's the secret to all this right, game? That's pretty good, kid. Uh, yeah, it's good here. enough for TV. <laughs> just stay in here. All right. You're not going to give any of your secrets away, I can tell. Turn around. You'll have 40 seconds to play. I, 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 I really do like Get this set. host. He's, he's charming me. He's all right. He's better than the first game. Oh, yeah. Oops, he didn't stay in the air. Here he goes again. Stop with the How good is he? One of the most infamously oh. difficult games in the 80s. There he goes He's crashing on it. Then he did oh. not stay in the air. 26 seconds. Thought he gets more than three lives. Electronic barrier coming up. Got over that, trying to get in the tunnel now. He does not get oh. in the tunnel. 12 seconds to go. Did he say asshole? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> Into the tunnel. Get some points now. 4,900 points. I think he called the game yeah, an asshole after he died. <laughs> well, it's not my best game. Okay, Leo, head on back. Well, Let's see no best one's best game. game. It's Super Zaxxon. No one's good at Super Zaxxon. Advance. Stand right there. If you want my friend, you have your work cut out for. You're going to have 40 seconds to play this game. You want to try to get Kick his tunnel, ass, Vance. You desperately need points, okay? Okay. Right, we'll wish you good luck. Get ready, get set, play. Nope. And he dies. That makes sense. I love the cat out there. Try to get in that tunnel. That's important to you now. You gotta get in that tunnel. Bad. Get super zacks on. Where'd that guy come from? Over the electronic barrier. There's that same guy. Like, oh, he got you again. You can't get past that one. Is five lives the uh, default dip switch? I wonder. Oh, he didn't even get over the barrier. Come on, man. Oh, 2,300. <laughs> Give it a okay, shit. Man. Had a little trouble it's there, Super man. Zaxxon, dude. And we're going to find out. Come on, man. What, what are you doing? For the video arcade game burger. Alex. Uh-huh. Would you like to take the Super Zaxxon no! challenge? No! No! Did you hear all the jokes I was making? No! Sounds to me like Alex wants to take the Super Zaxxon challenge. I do not. I do not want to take the Super Zaxxon challenge. Oh, wow. You, you didn't set it up, right? It's not emulating. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now, the first thing I'm going to do is I have to check the dip switches because I think that it doesn't give you... Yeah, it only gives you three by default. Let's go ahead and go the, the Starcade route and give you five lives. Okay, Alex. I don't wanna. Uh, hang on a second. Let me put on your, your cheering applause to encourage you. Okay. Okay, Alex, you have 40 seconds to score either 2,300 points or 4,900 points. Let's Can go. you manage a second place victory? No, but let's go. Three, two, one, and go! Let's go, Alex, let's go! Classic isometric game by Sega. The original wasn't hard enough, so they decided, screw you, we're gonna up the speed to impossible levels. I'm fine. Alex doing good so far. Got 2,100 points, that's not nothing. We have just a few seconds left in this competition. We have 40 seconds. All right. Two seconds to go. Alex, can you do it? Let's go, Alex. Let's go, Alex. Woo! 
And time. You got 4,300 points, which is... Uh, it's better than uh, the other guy who scored 2,300, but the whiz kid scored 4,900. So uh, a decent second place showing for Alex on a very difficult game. I'm actually quite proud of you for that. Good Thank job. Thank you. Nice work, nice work. <laughs> and here's your celebratory Danny banning for that. Thank you. And the crowd goes wild. Woo! <laughs> Is that how this works? Once Alex does good at something, I get banned. Yeah. That, that yeah. makes sense to me, honestly. All right, back to the show. <laughs> time. Let's take a look at the final scores. Vance, you beat Vance, but not Leo. 23,165. Leo, a grand total of 42,400. Jesus Christ. You're the winner. Congratulations to you. Good day. Well, Vance, oh, a Vance is nice about game. it. He's like, hey, uh, good we going. Have to say goodbye to you, but I enjoyed meeting you. Hope you had a good time. Well, it was nice playing. Oh, good. And we have some consolation prizes for you, okay. so it's not a total waste. Thank you, Joe. All right, nice to see you. And Leo, you've done just great. You got a prize on Name the Game. You're the winner of the day, so you have something else, too, right, Kevin? Right, you are, Jeff. It's the Texas nice, Instruments Home nice. Computer and Monitor for Education, Home Finance, and Entertainment. You're not just playing, you're learning with the Home Computer and Is that monitor what led him down the dark Texas path Instruments. to 3DO development? <laughs> Now you have three computers. Well, they can talk to each other while you're not home. And you've also won the right to play for our grand prize, which is Burger Time, okay. your very own video arcade <laughs> game. We'll see how Leo does right after these uh, Keep all your computers open. They can talk to each other when you're not home. Some of the Starcade staff stays at the beautiful Pacific Plaza Hotel, a small Grand Lux hotel in this the is European where Retro tradition, Pals broadcast one block from Union Square I in wish. San Francisco. I wish. I want to broadcast from a place called Union some Square. Some of our contestants and some members of the studio audience will receive Trigger Command, the joystick making America trigger happy, comfort, <sighs> pistol grip, and trigger action, the thumbless approach to higher scores, the Trigger Command joystick from Electra Concepts, and three brand new games for the VIC-20 by Tronics. Oh, VIC-20, let's go. Deadly Skies and Gold Fever, fast action, complex strategy, superior sound and multiple levels of play by Tronics and electronic fun with computers and games. It's the magazine of the computer Have you even seen this magazine? I've never even heard of this. It's the I've heard of electronic games, but... Yeah, I've never heard of, of this before. Electronic fun with computers and games. And welcome back to Starcade. Okay, Leo, now it's a big challenge. This is a chance to win your own video arcade game. We have still two games left on play. That's Pole Position and Bagman. During the commercial break, we informed you that if you picked pole position, you'd have to score at least 6,914 points. If you picked Bagman, you'd have to score at least 2,074 points. Now, those are the average scores of more than 20 other players who played these very same games. Now, you reached a decision. I understand you picked pole position. That is correct. Pole position is correct. Too that afraid means to do Bagman, huh, Leo? 6,914 points or more in 30 seconds. You'd You're ruin win Bagman. This you know it. Burger time. Don't. No sure. way. I well, think Kevin I think I would compete position, with him on Bagman. Let's, get let's do we'll it. Get you ready to drive. Oh yeah, where's that super bag man behind upgrade? the wheel of a Formula One racing machine and experience an incredible I decided to not to uh, challenge you at this because of the analog Increase controls. Your score oh, by thank accelerating you, thank to you. top speeds and passing other cars I felt Super Zaxxon was a much more fair competition. With time to spare you and earn more mean, points. But I love you're you. You're the best. You'll qualify for the pole position in the race to come. Jeff Okay, this is it. 6914 points in 30 seconds and the grand bets. prize is yours. You think this guy's uh, this got it? Been your good luck charm so far. You want to do anything with it? Yeah, I'll put it up front. Please. All right, put it up front, and I'll get ready to start the game for you. Put it in your mouth while you play. Ready? Mm -hmm. 30 seconds. Get set. Play. Prepare to qualify. When a green light hits, you're off. You're off. All right, dude. Go, go, go. go. Yeah, pull Watch the pin. That turn. 20 seconds left. 2,000 points. I think he's got this. Oh, good. But Clyde. All right, good. Pass one car, 4,000 points. Ooh. Look out. Boom. Oh. Get ready to start again. Here you go. 5,000. You need 6,914. Oh, oh no. no. 6,040 just missed. Boy, I thought you were going to have it. If you hadn't hit that Sorry, car, you would have hit it. Yeah. Well, you won a lot of good friends Almost here. had anyway, it. If Leo only you hadn't crashed. You're a good player. Nice to meet you. Nice to have had you on the show. Here's some friends here to say hello. Some random children. Jeff There's some thank tiny you the children. Thank you for being with us. Thank you at home. And I shall see you next time. Right Here's here. your entourage. Okay, told that He's there. Oh, all your troubles get zapped. Bye bye. Oh, it's on archive. Great. Oh, nice. The very first thing I see is a one page ad for the Tronics games, Juice and Kid Grade. Oh, my God. <laughs>
<laughs> nice. Yeah, we saw juice earlier, or juiced or whatever it was. You think they pulled some random kids up from the crowd to just say, say Yeah, hey, hi. here's your friends. I want to know more about that NASA thing. Their fucking environmental cabinet that's basically a sideways elevator and also a regular vertical elevator. I want that. That is nuts to me. I bet that technology progressed really, really fast so that uh, they wouldn't need a warehouse for individual testing machines. Special thanks to Nintendo. Thanks, Nintendo. Edward's wardrobe furnished by the Taylor Man of San Francisco. Some of the Starcade set furnished by RCA. Mm -hmm. This is Kevin McMahon speaking. Starcade is a JM production. All right, Alex. We have one final episode and two final challenges. I want you to, Ooh, okay. to take a little break and stretch your fingers, okay. stretch your gaming muscles, because this is the biggest challenge to date on the final episode we're going to see tonight. Alex, we are finishing up with episode 49, an infamous episode, if you know what it is. Or Why is famous. It How could you be infamous with Starcade? It's Starcade. Well, let's find out. There's a couple of games Who's on I want this you, one. I want is you to challenge like on this one. Let's uh, let, let's watch this. Is it like Stu the Murderer or something? Yeah, Stu the Murderer was in this. Oh, this famous. is Starcade from TV's the famous murders. Video arcade game show starring your favorite video games and some brand new ones being introduced to the public for the first time anywhere. Keep an eye and out for now, Stu the Murderer, everybody. <laughs> Starcade, Jeff Edwards. All right, thank you very much. A couple of hot teams backstage here at Starcade warming up for today's big match. And today, one of these teams is going to have the opportunity to win their very own RP5X Pro <laughs> Lost Polybius robot. episode. So players, you ready? RP5X. Right, he go. was playing Guzzler. What a sicko. Yeah. He was playing that recreationally. He is the water man. He's the water man. Yeah, you, you see BBH? I was glad I found this one. I'm afraid of this one. I'm afraid of. I was. I was so glad I found this one. This is one that stuck out in All my head. All right, got a couple of good teams here. Nice studio audience. Welcome. Nice to have you here. Now let's meet our contestants. First of all, your name is Derek. I go to El Crystal and I live in San Bruno and I like to play baseball and soccer. That is the longest name I have ever heard in my entire life. I like to play you, baseball. Hi, my <laughs> name's Tom. And you're Derek's father, I presume? Father, that's right. What do you do for a living, Tom? Well, I'm in the computer business. I'm a branch manager for a company that sells hardware and software. Well, you ought to be familiar with the way these games work, then. Let's meet your competition. Your name is? Tim. I live in Salem, Oregon, and I like to play golf and tennis. You don't your give my last name. as long as Derek's was. <laughs> and you are? I'm Dottie. I am, too, sometimes, but... Oh, oh, that's your name. I see. I see. What do you do, uh, Dottie? Uh, uh, I was recently in the huh? golf business. I'm now going to take some time to play golf and tennis. Good. I hope you enjoy your, your semi-retirement, I yeah. suppose that is. Welcome to Starcade. Now, as you know, our contestants are matched up based on their playing ability on today's games. And one team here is going to have the chance to win this fabulous RB5X programmable robot. There it is right there. What? You can win a robot. It's a robot. You patted you it on the head. Hands. You want a robot, not an arcade machine? Over that to the podium sucks. Teams. Here we go. Dottie's an old-timey way of saying you're a lush. I didn't know that. Thank you for the context. That makes more sense now. Tell us about the five games we're going to be dealing with today. The games we're going well, to be Jeff, dealing with. Well, Jeff, you know Starcade means video games, and today's lineup includes a true classic along with some new favorites. It's true. I'd rather have an arcade game. today, cabinet. Bump and Jump. That's a, a good friendly, one. Bumpy, jumpy run. Next... Popeye, the oh. man himself, and all his friends. The man himself. In the middle today, Space Invaders, wow, the old favorite, and it's still great. On to Donkey Kong Jr. as wow. Sun tries to free Papa, and finally Tasmania, a beastly Tasmania? press for survival. Jeff? It's Tasmania. Okay, teams, those are I've today's five games. All of you, of course, had a chance to play them before today's show. One of them is a mystery game. You pick that in the first three games, you automatically win a prize. As far as I'm concerned, the star of the show is on the far left. Is, we'll ask Kevin to whisper it to him. The mystery game is Tasmania. The well-dressed man with okay, the mustache. Okay, Kevin, thank you. Now, team, I'm going to ask you a question. First team to buzz in answers the question, answer correctly, and you pick the first game we'll deal with today. Here's the question. In burger time, when Chef Pepper shakes pepper on the hot dogs, they change to what color? A, yes. Red. No, sorry. <laughs> the answer is brown. The, the two choices were A, That's yellow, and the B, killer. brown. And so the Delks <laughs> yes, pick the first the video killer. game we're going to play. What would you like to play? Space Invaders. Dottie says she wants to play Space Invaders, so Kevin will tell us how to play that. How do we play Space Invaders, Kevin? It's the original Space Invaders, where advancing aliens get closer and closer while firing on your laser bases. Yes, they're dancing. Fire back using the bases for protection. That's galactic dancing. Every zapped invader scores points, and the 
most points of all are scored by zapping the song. He's just a cool guy with a mustache, all right? He's just, come on, let's be normal. Let's, let's, let's not go too far. Everyone in the 80s had a mustache. It's not their fault, okay? Some teams here on the show. This is the first time uh, uh, the younger person has let the older person decide what game to play. How come you let your mom decide, Tim? I don't know. Well, that's a good reason, I'm sure. <laughs> Dottie, why'd that's you like, play Space Invaders? Well, it's probably the only game I know how to play. All right. Yeah, I hope that you do well. I'll give you a couple of hints. Got to do what you know. comes across the top, you can shoot it, and we don't know how many points you get for that. You get mystery points for it. When the Space Invaders come down and start turning green, you're in a lot of trouble. All right? Let's get ready to play. You'll so I was looking seconds. for that guy across several episodes, right here, and Tim I was thinking, you know what? It. How hard can it be to find uh, a guy with uh, in a suit and a mustache on this show? Well... That narrows it down to about 75% of the episode. <laughs> but I was okay. so glad I found it. Get some points. You're a Walter you're a, you're yeah, a freak for him. You yeah, I'm a, I'm a Walter freak. You gotta shoot, Dottie. You gotta shoot, Dottie. There's, only, there's only one button. Look out, look out. There you go. There you go, good. Yeah, this base is booming. Uh, go, Dottie, go. I support mom's who game, I just want to say. I'm playing Space Invaders. Is there? Pearl there necklace. Dressed in the nines. Oh, she almost hit the UFO. Oh, that been sick. No, no stands for moms. I'd love to play Fortnite with. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I was I was sitting on whether I could say that. He's doing the, the pacifist right. You yeah. didn't get killed off after all. That's how you do the famous Nagoya technique. What do you technique. think, Tim? Yeah, that was good. All right, head on back. Let's bring down the next team. Come on, Derek and Tom. I'm glad he encouraged his mom and didn't say that sucks. Now, sucked. which one of you mm -hmm. is going to play Space Invaders? I am. You're going to play yeah. for, for the same reason that Dottie is? Well, yes, that's right. Okay, fine. I'll tell you the same thing I told her. The mystery ship comes across. You can hit that. You get mystery points. When the invaders start turning green, you're in big trouble. How do you think he's going to do, Derek? Oh, okay. All right, let's see okay. what happens. Yeah, you have 50 seconds. That's yeah, kind of a dipshit, but he'll do all Set, right. play. The dimming light would freak me out. I'd be like, there oh, my go. God, I can't do this. What's a video game? Boom. Boom. Good. Okay. Can he hit the UFO is the question. He runs a computer outlet or something. He probably knows Space Invaders. I guess. Good play. He's doing okay. Mystery ship should be showing up any moment. Oh, you have another one. You have time. Plenty of time, 17 I thought seconds. about making you play this, but frankly, your competition isn't great. <laughs> Okay, I, I think I think you would have kicked uh, both mom and dad's ass. Yeah, you, you shit mom and dad. I have higher expectations for an expert Batman player. Oh boy, we've got a close game right here. Tom, nicely done. We'll be right back to see who gets to choose the next game in Starcade in just a moment, so stay with us. It's still pretty even being a very low scoring game. Mm -hmm. What speed does the car need to reach to jump clear and bump and jump? A hundred miles per hour. I know that because of the game. I mean, the yeah, there you go. yeah, yeah. We're all learning things tonight. It's an educational stream. Today's grand prize on Starcade is <laughs> RB5X, the intelligent oh robot. He looks like it's shit. It's a perfect multi-purpose programmable home appliance. It what does he do? It experiences, moves under its own power. It can talk and even fetch the paper. Available from RB Robot Corporation, Golden, Colorado. What's some shitty robot to talk to me? What's it going to say? Oh, wow, boy, you live in a real shit hole. these families to have? Well, let's That's see. That's the both 80s and my voice synthesis is not good we'll enough. The score is. Walters, you Happy have birthday, so Polly. Exactly. Exactly. You have 500. Well, we have a close, close game. Walter's in the lead. Close game. Of course, there's still Very another close. game to be played in this round. And then total points scored on both games will determine who gets to play the name of the game board. I have a question for you if you're ready. Hands on buzzers, and here we go. The bag man runs through mine shafts, picking up a money bags. Money yes, bags. Elks. Money bags. Money bags is right. That's right, Joe. Mm -hmm. We know all about bag man tonight. Well, you guys know your questions, all right, and your answers. We have uh, four games left, and one of them is a mystery If the game. robot we talked like Hatsune button. Miku, I'd be Donkey all in. Kong yeah, Donkey that's Kong what you Jr. Are. Okay, you're, that you're is the game. Freak. It is a tough game, Let's I think, little, to play. Let's put a little pair of twin tails on it. know how to play it. You should know, Jeff. You should know. 
Mario, beware of Donkey Kong Jr. He's Mario, crafty, beware. he's fearless, and out to rescue Papa Kong from your clutches. Now. Scoring points. Yeah, he became uh, Mario when he became the bad the guy. Of mm. Isn't that jaws, interesting? Ape eating birds and energy pods. Watch out, Mario. The son of Donkey Kong His is His name is Del Chido. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Famous okay, Star Kevin, Wars character. thank you. All right, uh, let's see, Dottie, you played the last game, so Tim, you're up this time, right? Yeah. How are you, Donkey Kong Jr.? I'm all right. Well, my hat's off to you because I cannot play this game at all. I don't know what's the matter with me in Donkey Kong Jr., it's but tough, it doesn't actually. work, so I have no hints to give you. I just wish you good luck, okay? All right, here we go. Dottie, you come over here to cheer him on. You have 50 seconds. Ready? Get set. Play. <laughs> Man, why'd they cut the robot out? That's criminal. It's the best part. And here comes old Junior now. Of the kids, who do you think is going to score the most at this? Um, the Delks or the Walters? I think the Walters. Well, you know this game. I think there's something about Dad's bizarre energy. What are you trying to go? That translate like he's got it's, he's got the gamer energy that got translated. Yeah, I that can see that. gamer DNA. Gamer DNA. I wish I could splice me some gamer DNA. Just take out the shitty DNA I don't need and replace it with uh, the guy who worked on 3D games. Yeah, yeah, I want to use CRISPR to make me a better gamer. This kid's about to beat Donkey Kong Jr. Well, secret I... DK Jr. sicko. I don't think that the, uh... Uh... Oh, I almost got hit. Congratulations, that's a really nice play. Head on back, Tim. You go with him, Dottie. Yeah, honestly, on, really uh, good. Derek and Tom. My gosh, I've seen screens on that I've never seen before in my life. Uh, are you glad you're not playing this one, Tom? Yeah, I sure am. Derek <laughs> can do it better than I can. All right, Derek, how are you at Donkey Kong Jr.? I'm okay. Well, let's see if you can do as well as Tim did. Uh, you have 50 seconds, and we'll get, ready, get you ready to get set now, if you will. Tom, over here, please. T uh, Derek, all set. Ready? Get set. Play. Hey, yeah, Pirate Gamer Boy, I noticed that. After every round, they uh, they hit the reset button on yeah. the machine, and it goes into test mode. This is for real. They're not faking this. Oh! Can, oh, can oh, you, kid. Can you imagine if Billy Mitchell was on this show? Oh, my God. Okay. What kind of like, shitstorm would have that started? He would, he would just tell people to look away. He'd be like, <laughs> all right, look away, host. Wow, I got 9 million points. Put it on the put it on the board. No, oh, I got his ass Junior may get some more points. About 15 seconds left. Hang in there. I wish I was <laughs> Well, it's not that difficult. I know. I don't know. I think cheating sometimes takes way more effort than doing it. So I don't know. Derek and Tom, head on back. 3,200 is the score you got. We're going to add up all the scores now. That didn't look too good. I think the other kid was way better. had a chance to play Space Invaders and Donkey Kong Jr. And now one of these teams is going to play for a very special prize because we're going to total up all the scores and see who gets to play the name of the game board. Walters, you have a total of 3,720. And the Delks, you have... 6,800. Yeah, true. It would be pre-taped. <laughs> you give a, a sealed envelope to the Qbert lady. Board. See how well you know your video games? Come on, Tim. You come too. What? Don't, don't make her do this. Do Mom. All, all right. Just Mom? Here, please turn around. That's Mom it. can't turn know around. games. There you are. A little more of this. Okay. Now, behind you is the name of the game board. We're going to show hey, Kyrick. How's it going? Hey, welcome. If you name the games correctly, you're going to win a good prize. Oh, you saw some AW Dynamite. Does that good to you, Tim? Yeah. All right. How about you, Dottie? Yeah, we're doing good. I like this show. go first? Who's going to go first? Dottie will go first, then Tim, then Dottie, then Tim. All right, turn around. This please. is going to be a disaster. <laughs> this is going to be a blow. Yeah. Corner. Is that Roundup or Robbie Roto? Uh, Roundup? No, sorry, no. one wrong. In the second screen, Tim, is that Berserk or Frenzy? Frenzy. Frenzy is right. Okay, number three. Is that Pop Flamer or Poppin' Balloons? Uh, Pop Flamer. Good guess, Dottie. Hey, the fuck is Pop Tim, Flamer? The final one, is this looking or Eyes. 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 We, right we know what that one is. We know eyes. We know eyes. All right, well, good job.
It's a white metal detector. A uh, white metal detector. To help you, locate you think coins, it detects whites or just metals? metals? While excluding mineralized soil, a metal we'll detector from White's Electronics. All right, nice going, Dottie and Tim. You're in the lead, but there is one more round to play, and we'll be back to play the final round and see who's going to get a chance at that robot. We'll be right back. Pop flavor is a jello cookie. I see it. There's the evil Mario. Whites went under in 2020. How'd oh, they last no. that long? We're at round two. There's only one game left to play. But before we play that game, uh, Tom, somebody told me besides being in the computer business, you were a songwriter. Is yeah, that right? that's right, Jeff. Uh, Do you have a song you'd like to do I, I for Let's us? turn this yeah, shit up. Sure. Shall I go ahead? Okay. Uh, sure, why not? Okay. Starcade really makes our day. We like Starcade all the way. Video games are lots of fun. Made to play for everyone. Mom, dad, and children too. Big folks, little folks, and teenagers who want the new technology. Experience is what you see. Oh, 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 Starcade. All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, okay. Okay. Freezing we'll cold jams. Game in about another three weeks. Okay. I've it's heard worse, two, but yeah. Only one game left to play. Starcade. This time will be 40 seconds to play it. After that, we'll total up the scores in all the games. Yeah, he was playing his bongos score, there. We'll get a chance to win the RB5X <laughs> robot. So, teams, if you're ready, here's your final question. Hands on buzzers. In Graplop, when the ball turns red, you can A, score no points. B, score bonus points. Yes, Delks. B. No, sorry, it's A. When the ball's red, you can score no points, and that means that Walter's going to You don't know about Graplop? The Delks have failed. The Delks have failed us all. The original song, Delks. a mystery game. Popeye. Popeye, he says. No mystery sound. The mystery game was Tasmania. Ah, damn. Popeye's a terrific game, and if you play it well, you get some points. Kevin will tell us how to play it. Yeah, Dottie got to do a tap dance now. Well, blow me down, mates. It's me, Popeye, catching hearts, musical notes, and words of love. That's British Popeye. By my sweet olive oil, performing me duty by punching out a few obstacles thrown in me way and giving Bluto a lickin' after I've had me spinach. Fighting off the sea hag with me friends Sweet Pea and Wimpy putting in an appearance. What a way to spend me day, because I'm Popeye the Sailor Man. Uh, <laughs> Ah, it's like he was I right there. It. Okay, oh, Tom whatever. and Derek, who's going to play Popeye? Me. Okay, do you know much about Hey, Popeye? mates, it's me, oh, yeah, Popeye, the Sailor Man. Well, this is what the Popeye spinach. sounds can, like. I'm Popeye. Sick game, yeah, but that's okay. I'll give you another Hello, little hint, and, and you all might want to listen <laughs> to uh, Dottie and Tim. When Popeye opens up, he's on the left side of the screen. Leave him there till Bluto comes over and wrap him around behind to the other side. Bluto will come back and turn his head around, and you can pop that uh, punching bag and drop the bucket on Bluto's head, Okay. Yeah. All right, that's advice. You don't have to follow it, but it'll do, make you some points if you can. Tom, get ready to uh, the Twitch cheer arcade him on. scene favorite seconds. Popeye. Ready? Mm -hmm. Game gets you a lot of play here on Twitch. Play. And the Switch version, of course. Of course, classic. Wrap around. That's it. Good. Whoa! Went down too soon. Too so soon, bitch. See, you know your Popeye strategy. This is a really bassy episode, isn't it? It is. <laughs> Test out your subwoofer with this. Look out! Oh. We got another one coming up. Okay, here we go. I assume this episode was infamous because of that beautiful song. Oh, God, yeah. kid! Yeah, and the fact that that dude is just in the background grinning the whole episode. Like, yeah. <laughs> I think a Starcade, I think uh, Mustache let's, Dad. Let's head on back. Going back there, Derek and Tom and Tim and Donnie come up. That's a tough game unless you get them all in the right place. Okay, uh, Tim. Tim will straighten it. You, you put it where you want it, Tim. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Who's going to play this game? I've heard that rhyme, Magambo. Timmy, you know, yeah. If anyone else has regional yeah. variants, you Here's may the share them. To Derek. As long as they're not too you explicit. <laughs> I don't know. All right, we'll see what happens. Get ready to play. I heard seconds. turned on the gas ready? and burned Get off his play. ass. <laughs> He's waiting for the big Bluto score. The opportunity may not come, though. Good. 
Oh, oh yeah, yeah, the one about going swimming with bare naked women. That one I heard. The classic. Did, did your Popeye live in a garbage can? Just yeah, yeah, yeah. He always lives in a garbage can. That's the, that's the constant. Yeah, yeah. No matter what region you're in, Popeye's in a garbage can. Good job, kid. Eats all the worms and spits out the germs. Yeah, yeah. And see who's going to get a shot at that old robot there. Well, we've had a good day of play, the father and son team and the mother and son team, and I, I'm glad to have met all of you here on the show. Now we'll total up the scores and see how we did. Who wins? The Walters have a grand total of 4,980. The Ducks have 10,300. Oh, shit, the Ducks. But first, Alex, yeah? you are going to challenge the America's Funny Man, Popeye. Oh, do I? Okay, okay. You absolutely have to. Of Popeye is I America's do. game. Everyone loves Popeye. We love Popeye. I'm going to kiss Popeye. I actually want to kiss Popeye. I think that he would have really bad breath. Spinach Probably breath. a bunch of diseases from being on the high seas. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, yeah. I need your cheering applause. Thank you. Alex, you have... <laughs> it's too early to ban. Alex, you have 40 seconds to score either 1,260 points or 3,500 points. Can you beat either one of those scores? Let's see. Let's find out. Let's go. And away we go. Here we see America's hero, Popeye, squaring off against his, his villainous arch nemesis, Bluto. A.K.A. Brutus. There's many ways to score points in this game, and all of them are very difficult. Require a, a steady hand. We're halfway through the challenge. Alex is litting, litting I got, olive I oils. Got Bluto, Bluto, I got Bluto! I got Bluto! You were letting olive oil's love sink into the ocean. Well, it happens. <laughs> oh, big play! Unfortunately, right didn't pay off. Right on the... Oh, and, I blew off my wiener. And uh, Popeye metaphorically and uh, literally blew off his wiener just now. He's dead. 1,530 points. Hey, that's good enough for second place. Hey. You beat the other team that had a mere 1,260. The other team had 3,500. You weren't going to beat that. But still, nice. All right, all right. I think it's the Bagman play that really prepared you for this. It was, it was. This is such a stupid idea for a show. I'm never doing No, this it's show. great! No way! <laughs> I was gonna say, don't turn off the cheering. It would be great. <laughs> Just cheer through the rest of the episode. Additional cheering, yes. Alright, let's finish up our final episode of Starcade. Can the Delks win the final game? Congratulations! Walters, I'm glad to have met you. Thanks for the song, Tom. That was really nice. Sure, nice you. to meet you, Derek. Good luck. We have some nice gifts for you. His dad is and Poop Ducks, Deck, Pappy. Of course, you have won yeah. a very special prize for being our winners of the day, and Kevin will tell us about that. It's the Texas Instruments Home Computer and nice. Software. For a bunch of games. Home finance and entertainment. You're not just playing, you're learning with the Home Computer and Software from Texas Instruments. Yours. This is fun. Okay, also, I'm glad some people think so. Robot, I put this together it, at the last we'll minute. We'll oh yeah, they're gonna win. This. They're gonna play for the robot. I hope they win that thing. Is there uh, any evidence of one of those '80s robots some killing people? Some and some members of the studio no, I don't will think receive so. I think Trigger maybe? Elite, the high-performance joystick from Electra Concepts, with select sensitivity okay, settings, rapid-fire bar, five-year guarantee, and more. Your video system's complete with Trigger Elite. Hey! And hey! Line, That's a way, way better tagline. Stream of video games with just one cartridge through <laughs> your telephone. GameLine, the only way to try new games at home before you buy them, and games are only the beginning. And well, Zonix video games. Someone invented Game Pass for you. Years ago. Two amazing games on one cartridge. Multiple screens and unbelievable graphics. Zonix new cartridges, Spikes Peak and Ghost Manor. Zonix, more fun for the price of one. Okay. Is it really more fun okay, for the price of one? Welcome back to Starcade. And now, Tim and Dottie, the chance to win your own robot. There's still two games left on Oh, I did see that LGR robot episode. He got some crusty old robots. Those were cool. Nice. Mania, you'd have to score at least 921 points. If you pick Bump and Jump, you'd have to score at least 1,714 points. Those are the average scores of more than 20 other players who played these same That's games. That's right. Game Line turned into decision, America Online. You picked... Oh. Tasmania. Tasmania. Okay. And that we're playing Tasmania. 921 points or more in 30 seconds. You're going to win our grand prize, RB5X, the robot. So while Kevin tells us about Tasmania... We'll go over and get ready to play. 
You're just a little Tasmanian devil zapping everything in sight so you can have the game all to yourself. Yeah. But as time runs out, the walls close in and defeat could this be a crushing fake. experience. But while you can zap and run, is this it? game exit comes to take it from bigger rewards. It's Tasmania. Okay, you need that. to get 921 they just points suck. or more in 30 seconds, and you're going to play it, right, Dottie? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the, Tim's face when Thanks, I said that. Thanks, Dottie. I know you want to play it, Tim, right? Yeah. All right, my friend. 30 seconds to get 921 points or more, and the robot oh, is no, yours. Oh, no, I'm not you ready? This shit. Get set, play. <laughs> Shoot, don't get killed. 30 seconds to score, 921 points. All right, Sorry, you have another one coming up. Peace on this as loud as I have never seen or heard of this game before. Not ever? Never! Tas Tasmania with two Z's? No, never! I guess this had to have existed, but... Right, 750 is what you got. You needed 921. Valiant try, though, Tim. Congratulations. A valiant you try. You you a young valiant warrior. try. Young, young warrior. Young warrior. Nice meeting you. Hope you had a good time. Thank you. Good. All right, here's some people coming up to see you. I wish you good luck. This is Jeff Edmonds. <laughs> here's some random people. See you the next show. Until then, hope all your troubles get zapped. Bye-bye. Hope all your troubles get zapped, everybody. Aw, my troubles Goodbye. have been zapped. Goodbye from Retro Pals and Starcade. Alex? No. No, 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 no. I am not. No. Are you ready to take the Tasmania challenge? I don't... That game is what Polybius looks like in my head. Well, prepare to be eternally cursed with Tasmania. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's fine. Oh, this, is a, this is a vert. Hang on. Okay, according to the rules, you have 30 seconds to score 921 points. Good luck scoring one point in this game. Look at this! Oh, push push down for instructions if you want. You got all that? Little Hoppers, Tasman, Butterfly. I like the gay, like Rainbow, but... <laughs> I like the gay. Use joystick to run around the room. Shoot, press the fire button, and aim with the joystick. Hold on the fire button. Okay. Yeah, you have one button. And uh, an eight-way joystick. That was not a banned episode. I just said it was infamous because that guy started singing halfway through. Here we go. Let's go. Alex has 30 seconds to score 921 points in and the famous game Tasmania that everyone instinctually knows how to play. Can he do it? Can he succeed where the kid failed on tonight's last episode of Starcade? Can we end on a victory in this unvictorious world? Just a few seconds to go to score and win the robot. Can Alex take home a robot? No, what the hell was that game? 490 points, far short of the 921 points required for the the robot. Sorry. Sorry, Alex. I'm getting bonked. I, I'm not going to get run over by the death robot. So let's go over Alex's wins and losses for tonight. Uh, oh, okay. You played, you played Wild Western, which you lost. You played uh, Donkey Kong, which you lost. You played Swimmer, which you won. You won yeah. a copy of the Eyes Arcade Cabinet because of that. You won Bagman, big time. You kicked everyone's ass at that. Mm -hmm. The Bagman score was uh, 4,900. The two kids won independently. Alex got over 10,000. That was insane. Mm -hmm. I'm going to emphasize that because uh, every single other game he lost. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. A couple others you got in uh, second place. Still pretty impressive. You would still be competitive at the show. I don't think you were bad enough for the show. Uh, the show's host to rag on you, which he often did. Yes. There was one episode I tried to find where a guy scored zero points, and he was like, zero? Really? You couldn't hit anything? <laughs> Unfortunately, that's been uh, lost to time. I have one final thing to show off. Okay. One final bit of promotional material from when Starcade was on TV, and maybe you needed a commercial bumper to make the show look uh, look impressive. Okay. Make like, uh, this looks like something people want to see. So with that, I'm going to end tonight's stream with Sinistar Blues. Here's the latest news from the Starcade hotline. It's Lance Hoffman, Starcade's Dolly Grip, singing his own composition, the Sinistar Blues. Early this morning, I heard somebody say I hunger. <laughs> <laughs> well, me and Sinistar, we were flying above the sky. 
Gathering up the crystals, trying to keep ourselves satisfied. These crystals make me satisfied. <laughs> well, me and Sinistar, we're gonna ride on down the line. Let's go. Me and Sinistar are gonna ride down the line. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> go, man, go! Hawk on Bobo, you beautiful man! Ah, ah well, that's enough of that. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, that was The Doors. I'm going to tell my kids that was The Doors. So, Starcade, a show that had many, many episodes. Things kind of were a little bit fast and loose in terms with production. Like, a kid can bring in his weird spiky ball and have that be a point of conversation. Mm -hmm. uh, the early host made fun of the contestants by telling them what people he looked like, they looked like, which uh, was always incorrect and just kind of a stretch. And, uh, yeah, they would occasionally just have people burst into song because it was the 80s. And, uh, well, you know how that was. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all know. If you were there, you know. If you don't... Uh, sorry, that's not coming back. No one's ever singing a harmonica song about Sinistar ever again. Nope, nope. As long as we live. That time is long past. Also, another time that's long past is tonight's Retro Pals episode. There he is! I love him! We're done. Thanks love for watching. You, Special thanks to Mustache Dad, who I spent many minutes tracking down, but I'm glad I did. Glad to show you uh, both Sinistar Blues and that wonderful song that he sung for us tonight on uh, on Retro Pals. May all your troubles get zapped. May all your troubles get zapped. Uh, this week's show is courtesy of our patrons. Thank yes. you so much to the Retro Pals patrons. Head to patreon.com slash retro pals. If you're in at the $5 tier, you get to tell us what to play or watch every single Wednesday. Uh, usually we play games. Every so often we decide to do something different, like read magazines or watch episodes of Starcade. <laughs> Hopefully you all enjoyed that. I, I had fun putting that together. And good job, Alex, for playing along and yeah. getting squashed by these kids from the 80s. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Alex, why don't you wrap us up? I'm going to look for a raid target. We're also on YouTube, youtube.com slash RetroPals. We post full-length highlights of our streams there. Our latest one is a look at Donkey Kong Country 2. If you want to see... Uh, if you want to see more Alex attempting video game action, definitely check that out. It's actually a pretty good one. I like that one. We also have a Discord. Let me just drop that link in the chat. Kaboom. You can join us there to chat about games, chat about our streams, and of course chat about your beautiful cats. I posted a picture of buttons. Check it out. It's a really good picture of buttons. Thank you. It is. We also have a co-host, cohost.org slash RetroPals. Uh, we post uh, when we go live on there, when we've got new videos up on YouTube and all the RetroPals news you can use. Alex, the Obscuratory is streaming something, and the title of the stream is Lost Multimedia CD-ROM. Oh, okay! The Encyclopedia of Clamps? I'm gonna assume that that's not the uh, the anime studio, and it is in fact the object, the clamp. So whatever it is, this is gonna be fun. Enjoy that. Have a good rest of your evening. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching. See ya, folks! <laughs>